All right, listen up, guys. I've got a really big announcement to make. Are you pregnant? <laughs> no, I'm not pregnant. Well, you got a big belly, so, you know. Are you I... getting us tickets to Steely D? No, I'm, no. Oh, that ain't it. No, We're that's... getting raises. We're going to the Bahamas. They're getting royalties. Bangs up. Not, this is not a game. You got a new goat from my petting zoo. I'm just going to announce what it is. You're not trying to guess what it is. I thought we were trying Here's to... Here's the deal. Last year, Corey and I, Jeff and Jessica, went to Walter Reed Medical Center, remember? Yep. Mm -hmm. And we met a ton of wounded vets there, and we thought it'd be cool just to bring a couple of them down here and just honor them and their service. Awesome. Love it. Cool. Great Let's idea. It. You got it. I'm, I'm all in. During our trip to Walter Reed Hospital, we met two Marines in recovery, Lance Corporal Christian Brown and Lance Corporal Mark Fiddler. When we found out they were big hunters and fans of Duck Commander, we knew we had to bring them down to West Monroe. When are they coming down? This week. The plan is to surprise Christian and Mark, and luckily, we're getting some help. I've been in contact with this organization called Luke's Wings. It's a nonprofit that provides free travel for wounded warriors and their families. Once they're here, we're gonna take them fishing and also find a way to honor them. I mean, it's the least we can do to show how much their sacrifice means to us. You could never repay them for what they went through. That's right. Nope. I think anything we do to honor them is a good idea. We can do a color run. What's that? You wear white and people throw color on you. Like, like a powdered Like a powder, color. like paint. I have never done one, but I saw y'all's pictures and they were really cute. And it's just like bright pink, green, jellos, and they just like throw it on you as you run. And you wear like tutus uh -huh. and you get off. Yeah. yeah, you run at the end of it to turn you into clowns. Mm, kind of. That's, I got the gist of it here. No, the gist is to raise awareness. Yeah, you do it for a cause, so it raises awareness. Color run. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. You're basically saying thank you. We need to get yeah. it organized and start moving. I ain't wearing a tutu. Willie may wear one, Better but in his case, that. it may be a 4-4 four, four or a 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> two, 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 two probably won't do it. <laughs> All right, guys, I got the plan worked out. Huh? Willie's got a couple of vets coming over. We're going to give them a big surprise. Jeff, there's a telephone pole outside the office. You need to shinny up it right quick. Explain to us why someone needs to be on a telephone pole. He's going to be a lookout. I'm not sure that's legal to go up a telephone pole. I think so. It's a gray area, but hey, look, if you got the hard hat and the vest on, no problem. But wouldn't it be kind of weird if he didn't have a truck or anything? And the code word is carasada. Who? Can you use that word in a sentence? The carne asada has arrived. Are you trying to say carne asada? That's what I said. No, it's not. You said casada or something like that. Look, I mean, it's just a code word, OK? Where they don't know what's happening. Well, we don't know what's happening. It's a code word, boys. Hey, look, these guys think they can actually surprise two military veterans, OK, without some kind of plan. They got a better chance to get struck by lightning during a shark attack. Are you going to get up the pole or not? That's a negative. Go up the pole. Burger Burger 1-9, that is a negative. Once again, a negative. If we're going to surprise these guys, OK, we got to fight fire with fire. I'm talking about using military-grade tactics. I'm right across the street from the warehouse. Here they come. Carnia Sada. Carnia Sada. This is just weird. This ain't my first rodeo. And look, I understand I'm working with green cadets here. That's why I've got contingencies in place. Go to plan B, boys. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hey! And now you have to have hip surgery. That's why you come down to the telephone pole. That's about typical. If you got want to do it right, you got to do it yourself. Hey, look, you be a cross guard. Put that on. I'm going to be a former, and I'll be over here. What are we, the village people? Guys, y'all ready? It works. Carnet and Sada, Carnet and Sada. Careful! All right, I don't know what y'all are doing, but we got like one minute. They're fixed to pull up outside my Oh, office. no, we're ready. Hold it. We got an elaborate plan here. No, we don't. Forget that plan. Come on, they're going to be right outside New my plan. office. New plan. What are y'all? The village people? That's what I said. You got the YMCA, baby. All right, Jennifer just texted. Y'all ready? Let's do it. Okay, one, two, three. Three and then go. One. one. Two. 
one. Wait, we go on three, right? Two. Three. Three. Go. We're not saying it. We'll get in here with you guys. What's up, dude? Come here. What's up, brother? I told her none of y'all be here. Good to see you again, man. None of us be here. Mark, how you doing, buddy? He's doing good. Good to see you. Well, the surprise was a success. Christian and Mark had no idea we would be here to surprise him. Y'all don't want us to ruin your picture, do you? We need to move. Y'all want us no, to take it? we need to get in the picture. Oh. I can only imagine how the surprise would have went had I let the guys plan it. Who are we looking at? I'm just looking Who's at Who's taking the pictures? Luckily, I did the planning, along with Jennifer from Luke's Wings. I won't say who was in on it, but they've got on blue shirts, so. All right, she did most of the planning, but I was there for moral support. We appreciate y'all guys yes, coming. Sir. We yeah. do. Awesome. You're going fishing in Arkansas? Yes, sir. Yeah, well, I thought we were. You and thought then, you were. And You're we... not going fishing in Arkansas. That's the bad news. <laughs> the good news is uh, we got a couple of fishing spots we're going to take you to. So um... You know, you just put me in a big dip to this girl right here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to be able to come out of this hole. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Christian and Mark, uh, both veterans from the Marine Corps uh, who sacrificed a lot. So thank you guys for showing up. And thank these guys. I'm never going to hear the end of this. <laughs> <laughs> so do y'all want to go see the uh, duck call room? That's cool. Oh, yeah, I'd love to see that. All right, here we go. All right. So were y'all surprised? Heck yeah. yeah. They said we're going to stop here quick and uh, take a picture by some sign. That and sign's become like Mount Rushmore out they're, there. They're like, we're not going to, oh, I don't know if we have time to stop in and storm. Like, So we're here. I duck commander, and we're not gonna stop in the store. Yeah, <laughs> like, uh, that, that ain't gonna happen, I guarantee it. Look how stupid. So why are you still wearing that hat? Hey, I'm still trying to work the plan here, boys. The plan is over. They yeah, made it. No, the plan yeah. was I was gonna have Jeff up on a telephone pole as the lookout. So why does your lookout have an orange vest? You're not supposed oh, to safety, see the, safety not, issues. You're not safety supposed issues. to see the lookout. Right. He was posing as, as a telephone man. Right. He was going to be up you there. You've got to have a Yeah, but, but yeah, he so. had the hat on. <laughs> that's what hey, I was saying. That's because the knucklehead wouldn't wear it. Is this what you guys do all day? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is what I do all day. They work a little bit. Yeah. I've been working on this call for about 35 years. Since you were like 10? Look, this is, I think, the greatest duck call ever. As coincidence would have it, I just received the prototypes of what I believe is the ultimate duck call. Thus, I've labeled it accordingly. The Jace Robertson Pro Series. That's the reason he's saying it's the greatest duck call yeah. ever. <laughs> OK? Yeah. This is the culmination of a lot of blood, sweat, and tears over the years. And I cannot think of two better individuals to get the first ones. So I want to give y'all the first two. Thanks. It's like we're being knighted. I appreciate knighted. that. Yeah, you're being knighted. We're being knighted. Well, look, it's guys I like y'all that we have the freedom to be able to sit around and make duck calls. True. So, Amen. I say we join in a duck call salute then. Duck call yeah. salute. Everybody Everybody get a, get call. a call. On three. Three. <laughs> there you go. Slower on there. Y'all having fun? Yeah, check this out. What is that? The new duck calls. Remember I was telling you about the Top new the line. duck calls? Man, have we sold them yet? I hadn't sold any. I just gave two away. <laughs> it was supposed to be a surprise. <laughs> surprise. 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 So I'm very surprised. Well, Jace is up to his usual antics, but I ain't gonna let this get to me while Christian and Mark are here. Y'all get in the first two. I'd hang on that, because it may be a collector's item. As much as I want to reprimand Jace for his business moves, these next few days are about way more than business. And I need the guys to keep Mark and Christian busy while I plan one final surprise for the color run. My buddy, Marcus Luttrell. All right, I got to go put the finishing touches on the color run. Y'all lined up for tomorrow? Yep, going fishing. Cool. Y'all go fishing. All right. We're going to discuss that duck call thing, Yeah, you got to get you one. Yeah, I got to get one, all right. Uh, he ought to be glad that I didn't ask for a percentage just to even put my name on there. Royalties. <laughs> well, I'm, I, you know what? I'm That's asking right. for royalties. For royalties, them things may end up in a burn pile. Wow. 
I talked to Mark today in the hospital. He's ready for a duck hunt. Oh, yeah. Well, let's take him. He and Chris are both. Before we headed out to the lake, we found out that Mark had to be admitted to the hospital. The doctors told us that he's going to be just fine, and he gave us his blessing to go on without him and to take Christian and to try to catch a few for him. Just having complications when you have these type of injuries. Mm -hmm. We're just having them battle every day. Mark said he was more concerned about Christian being able to go than he was being in the hospital. These guys never cease to amaze me. They're unselfish, and they got their brothers back. All right, let's pick the teams, and let's get to wager. Well, I think we should make the loser or representative of the losing team wear a tutu to the color run. <laughs> I don't even know what a tutu is. There's a guy around town. Remember Tutu Man? He's walking. He'd be in Walmart walking around. No wonder I don't know what it is. Tutu Man. All right, well, since I ain't going to lose, I'll agree to that. And I'll let you pick first. That way you can't say I cheated or some other lame excuse. Super squatter. All right, you got Phil. I got Martin. I will take Godwin. All right, I got Christian. Don't get me involved in this. I'm the judge. Ooh. Oh, right. Hold it, Jeff. Hold it. That's a bad idea. We have not officially hey, started. Team, mate. What are we talking team, about? Mate. We hadn't started. We hadn't started. <laughs> I hadn't finished picking the team. Oh, man. <laughs> That's my team, mate. Anytime you're picking teams, the last person picked is always the weakest link. All right, I guess I'll pick Si. What do you mean you guessed you'll pick me? Well, you're the only guy left. <laughs> hey, you boys are something else. I'm telling you, you what. Lucky for us, this is a numbers game. Loch Ness Monster, boys. Two to one. I finally caught you, you big heifer. Doesn't matter how big they are, who caught the most? Look at here. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. okay. Get him, Martin. Little old bluegill. How about that, Jeff? I'm not impressed. Pick him, boy. We're adding to the tally now. Jeff, you ever worn a tattoo before? Two, two. No. <laughs> You're fixing two, two. Competition makes everything better. Fishing happens to be one of my specialties. So, of course, I like to compete, because I ultimately like to win. So, si, what are you doing? He gone. Shocker. So, Kristen, how long were you in the Marine Corps? For about five and a half, six years. Just to Afghanistan? Yeah, um, multiple times to Afghanistan. That was the theater I operated in. Well, did they let you off during duck seed? <laughs> no, but I try to make it up on the back end now anytime I can get out and do it. Are you a godly man? I started out, you know, a strong believer. I got hurt, and, you know, it was a real challenge to keep that faith and try to understand why and try to rationalize, you know, what happened and that there's a reason for it when you get hit with a bomb or an ID like that, you know. It takes some years away. Sometimes when I get up to try to get out of bed, you know, it takes that extra motivation. And for me, that's hunting and fishing. You know, I win a couple times, and I stopped worrying about my injuries, but I was excited about another day of getting to be able to be out in creation. I'll tell you one thing. You Marine, y'all are a tough bunch. Most people would be singing the blues, but hey. You gotta you know, roll with it. You're still alive, dude. You got to admire these old Marines. Once a Marine, I guess, always a Marine. But few people that you run up on will give their life for you. Well, these two, they proved they'd do it. What's the verdict, Jace? The final tally is Team Jace, 14. Uh-oh. Team Jeff, 11. Well, we made a run at it. All right, Jeff, you lost. Where are the two two? Two two sounds vulgar for some reason. <laughs> Y'all ready to fish my style? I did bring a case of dynamite. Did you? Yeah. Throw it in there. <laughs> I hope they have fish at the color run. Christian, you like fish? Oh, yeah. I like to eat fish. Do you? I'd have never guessed that. All right, hello, everybody. I just wanted to welcome you all to the first ever duck and color run. We have Christian here. I'm going to get him to say a few words uh, before we start. All right. I just want to thank everybody that came out today. It's awesome to uh, get people that support our wounded veterans. I never knew that I would get this welcome home like this, and a lot of guys didn't get that. A lot of guys didn't make it back. 
you know, our prayers are with Mark, you know, is, is at the hospital. And um, I know he wants to be here. He's here with us in spirit, and we're going to have a good time. How about it? So we've had a few surprises, but uh, the surprises aren't stopping. Um, since this day is all about honoring Christian and Mark, I decided to go all out to make it a special day for them. I figured I would bring someone in to uh, help inspire us, a good friend of mine. Christian, this is Marcus Luttrell. No! No way, dude, come here. What's up, bro? Marcus is a retired Navy SEAL with his own inspirational story, and I know he's a big hero for Christian. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm pretty fired up about it. <laughs> so I have a feeling that his being here will mean a whole lot to Christian. It's good to see you, man. man. I'm glad you're here. And it's, when they told me what was going down, there was, I was all over it. That's awesome. Appreciate all of y'all coming out here and being a part of it. It's probably one of the only events you can actually get uh, grown men into uh, fluorescent tutus and run around. <laughs> <in there. laughs> Thank you. No, it's going to be a lot of fun. And um, thanks so much for everything you do, man, keeping it going. Because it's guys like you and Mark, man, you get hit like that, and then the other guys come in to get hit. You guys motivate them more than you, than you even know. So it's, it's remarkable. <laughs> You know, this is an amazing experience. You know, we're going to run. We're going to keep marking our prayers and our thoughts. We're going to have a good time, put big smiles on our faces, and thank you for God's graces and this great world that we live in. And keep in mind, kids, that if you run for too long, your legs will fall off. That's what's happening to me. <laughs> 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 Boom! All right. Thanks for warming the crowd up, Christian. <laughs> Y'all ready to roll? Woo! Yeah. Get ready to duck in color. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Children and infants, start your engines! Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> now it makes sense. Hold on, Roy. Y'all are fast. He's doing good. He's pulling me. <laughs> Dr. Jellyfingers here. What's up? Uh... How you doing? How are you doing? Looking good. Bro, <laughs> missed out. What are you doing in here? You look like an Easter egg. <laughs> we brought all the bottles of color, but the nurses says, no. Nah. We also brought something else. We had uh, somebody hey. else want to say hello. Who's that? Oh, yeah. Uh, wakey, nurse, wakey, Marcus brought you a nurse out. in here. Even though Mark had to miss out on the color run, that doesn't mean he had to miss out on all the fun. You doing all right? It's a pleasure, man. Yeah. yeah. It's an honor, man. Thank you so much for coming. After being stuck in a hospital bed all day, who better to cheer you up than Marcus Luttrell? You didn't get as dirty as they did. He's faster than we are. <laughs> Nobody wanted to make him angry, so he didn't want to get taken out. I'm just happy I can do anything for Mark, no matter how small, after everything he's given for our country. You know, people look up to us as heroes sometimes, but we look at the ones that went before us, so we read about stuff about you, your boys, and see, in our transition, you know, he was already out. He was telling the world, you know, what it was like over there, and then the, the guys that were actually good, like the Afghanis that were good, and, and painted the story for what it really was. It wasn't about what politicians told you to say. It wasn't about, well, you can talk about this, you can't talk about that. He opened and told them how it was, so, you know, we can continue that legacy. That's you know? exactly right. I mean, Unc Si went for us. Yeah, exactly. So, I, I mean, it's about identifying with your brother. People that haven't served in the military, okay, you don't have any idea of, of combat. It's a hard thing to uh, to actually talk about. No. You know, I, I lost a Marine, you know, three, four days prior before I got hit. And you see that, and that stays with you for the rest of your life. Yeah. I can't even imagine having to deal with what they've had to deal with. You know, it's a tough go. No, it, re it really is. It, that's, that's one of them things that you hope never happens. Yeah, but it happens too often. All the hardest I ever trained and working out and everything, I didn't do that, so I would make it back. Mm -hmm. It's all about that other guy, and that's why he trains hard to make sure I make it back. Mm -hmm. So when they don't come back, it's, I, would, I mean. We need to learn to get along, OK? And then there might not be need for war, OK? But, you know, if we do send them off to war, we should back them going and coming, OK? Father, I um, uh, 
honored to be standing in front of these guys looking at the sacrifice they made for us all. I love these guys and I honor them for the sacrifice they've made along with your son, Jesus. And it's in his name I pray. Amen. 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 I love you, dude. You. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. You guys, don't forget that. The people that put their lives on the line to protect the citizens of this country are true heroes. But it wasn't until these last few days with Mark and Christian that we discovered just how strong our wounded warriors are. Not only did they sacrifice themselves for our freedom, but they both managed to stay strong despite their injuries. It ain't to say that they don't need our support because for many of our vets, the fight continues even after they return home from battle. If there's one thing I hope everyone will remember from this day, it's how important caring for wounded vets is. It's the least we can do to show how much their sacrifice means to us. Yeah, throw more of those biscuits. All right. Oop, interception. Give me my biscuit. Uh -huh. yeah. oh, it's my biscuit. No, it's not. It's I intercepted not. it. I asked for it. I intercepted it. Oh, Jace, there's one more. Hand it to me. Lucky day. Oh. 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 There's no biscuits in it. <laughs> he just got you back. When we were kids, eating food was serious business. Here, I'll share this one with you. Here. Give me that. Oh, he didn't just lick that biscuit. It's yeah. a quick lick, sir. Oh, There's good. No biscuit. Classic move. Obviously, Willie became the king of defending his vittles. And you wonder why I whipped their tail so much. This is where it all starts. <laughs> Willie was like a ninja. How do you think he got so big? This is what started the daily wrestling epic battles, stuff like this. Didn't y'all fight over toast and pizza one time? Yeah, that's the greatest match that we ever had. I mean, he's cooking a pizza for 25 minutes. I wanted the oven for one minute. Oh, I was God. already in there. I'd already the claimed it. Fire. I'm not going to wait 30 minutes. We can settle the yeah. So no. I can turn it on broil for one minute. We Come had on. a toaster oven. Why don't you just put it in there? Hey, you got your butt whooped. That's I didn't get my butt whooped, son. What are you talking about? You were crying like a little girl. Oh, what's... The Robertson men have been wrestling for generations. I picked him up and then slammed him on the can of flour and just flour went everywhere. You remember that? Now, technically speaking, most of the wrestling matches were physical altercations over food. He started asking for mercy. I never asked for mercy. Yeah. But it was those altercations that made us such great wrestlers. And then their cousins came and they declared war on them. They started it. And when it came to the brawls we had with our cousins in the backyard, we dominated. I remember Willie and Amy. That was terrible. Amy whipped Willie's tail. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, she whipped you. You talk about a bad <laughs> memory. No, I didn't. <laughs> hey, if your record is 99 and 1, you're still dominating. She had she him in a headlock. He was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I want to wrestle. I'll show you some moves. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, he probably even went Willie. It's been done before by other girls in the family. True, true. Where is Mia? She's packing. She insisted on doing it herself. Oh. Probably a full bag of her stuffed animals. That way she's not nervous at the hospital. Babe, nobody is as nervous as you are about this. I'm not nervous. I didn't say I was nervous. Next week, my daughter Mia is having her fifth surgery to address her cleft lip and palate. I'm just not a big fan of hospitals. It's a tough one, but she's a tough kid. Be positive. I know, but I can't quit thinking about it. It'll be fine. She doesn't rattle easy. What else is there to worry about? Just the hospitals, the hospital food. What? She's got nerves of steel. Why would you serve such horrific food? Jay. She's got Jace Robertson nerves of steel. I'm fine, I'm fine. OK. I'm fine, I'm good. OK. And right now, I kind of wish I had them back. 
sister. Hey, Mia. Here, scoot yourself up. Are you all packed up? Yes, sir. What'd you pack? A uh, stuffed animal. Oh, uh, that's what I thought. Mm-hmm. So is there something you want to do, maybe, before we head out of town? Whatever you want to do. Think carefully. What about, um, like, bowling? You have a bowling party? Pam, Pam, no. What's wrong with bowling? That's disgusting. Don't cheese that. Look, I love the redneck culture. Where I take exception is hand-me-downs. There's a lot of people nice. who have fungus of the toes. You want me to put on some shoes that hundreds of people have worn? Would you wear used underwear? No! What's the difference? Let me pay you $3 so that I could possibly get a fungus, lose two of my toes, and wind up at the ER. Chase, that's disgusting. <laughs> the last thing we need is both of us to wind up in the hospital. Now, look, if you want to go bowling, we'll go. I was just making a point. I'm not getting any fungus. Good choice. <laughs> OK, Mia, what do you want to do? How about a family party? That's a good idea. I think that's really sweet. Great idea. So what kind of party do you want? Like last night, we had a big meal all together? Like Dad's cousins, like the wrestling ones. OK. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for on that. Oh, no. I got a lot of cousins. Well, bring them on in. All right. What kind of food do you want at this party? No kids, biscuits. <laughs> and okay. duck jambalaya. I'm going to have to start making some calls. But don't expect too many people, because this is kind of last minute, OK? OK. I just want to see Dad wrestle. Well, you want to <laughs> see me wrestle? Hey, I'll get you in a headlock right now. All right, I got now. some skills now. <laughs> hey, save for Willie. Good advice. <laughs> you want to wrestle? Oh, maybe later. That's disgusting. Can I clip this now? No. This is about the dumbest idea I've seen lately. What? This is actually a good idea. Chase, every time the girls put us out here, they tell us to do this crap, and they're never satisfied with it, so I say, let's just rent a tent and screw this. Tell them it didn't work. This is awesome. Look, you're taking a bunch of tarps and rope, and you're making a tent. That's pretty cool. Look, I make no secret that I don't like setting up decorations. You can rent a tent that has walls, and you can put a heater Anybody in Anybody can do that. This is more natural. But in this case, since we're throwing a party for Mia, I want to make this as good as it can be. I'm creating a shelter, tapping into my wild spirit. Oh, my gosh. I'm kind of starting to sound like Missy here, which is scary. You may need to know this if you're lost in the woods one day. And you happen to have 15 tarps on you. <laughs> what were you doing, going to a tarp convention? And you got lost in the woods? There's a lot of stuff laying around in the woods. Not canvas. I just think, look. <laughs> All right. I, you I, can, my you bad, can... Survivor Man. I'm trying to do something fun here. This is fun? It'd be fun if you'd let me clip it. So I just hold this? But hold on, this is complicated, and you got to do this right, or we'll have to do it over yeah, and over. Yeah, it looks real complicated. It's a sheet. Can I clip that? <sighs> the most effective way to manage a team is the hands-off approach. Once you've assembled a team as strong as this one, you can just let it go. When are you going to let me clip that? Last. If I've got to stand here and hold this for the whole party, this is going to get old. Just let everybody else do the work and offer your help when it's needed. Let's do it, crap. I want to clip that now. You ready? Godwin, don't do it. I don't know what's going on. You want to clip it now? No. When you want me to clip it? Can I clip that now? I want to clip it. Can I clip it now? Can I clip this now? Can I clip that? You got one job, and that's to hold that knot. Clip it? No, don't clip it. Clip that. You cannot micromanage. It's freezing out here. They've got to learn to walk on their own. No, 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 you're not clipping right now. Just push that baby bird out of the nest and let it fly. You let that God down. Let, go. let that down. Huh? Or it hits the ground really hard. Here she is. Hey, boys, let me tell you what's fixing to happen. I've been doing this for 20 years with her. She's going to walk up. She's going to hate it. You're just wasting your time, son. You already just put it down right now. How could you not like this? I'm going to tell her we tried our best, but it's a crappy idea. I just disagree. It's not a crappy idea. Well, good. I'll tell her it's your idea, and then you'll look stupid. Fine. Hey, Corey. Hey. How's it going? I think it's going pretty good. Um, this whole thing is stupid. 
This whole rope system you've concocted, it's gonna hold the tarps up? Yes. Is that stupid or what? You think it's gonna be secure enough? I'm hoping it will. Yep, people will be hurt. I love the natural color tarp. That's gonna look really good. Uh-oh. I can't wait to see it finish. I'm with it, yeah, I think it's gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna know how you get that part of the decorating crew job. Phil, just sitting over there cleaning the shotgun and shocker Jep not doing anything. They're going hunting. They gotta get some ducks for the gumbo. Do what? We need ducks. Miss Kay's making gumbo. You're sending Jep? Well, with Phil? I mean, that's ridiculous. And I realize I'm the dad, so I'll do whatever it takes to make this party a success. Jep? But it does kind of make you wonder, whose idea was it to send Jep honey? How does he always weasel himself into... Let's face it, Jeb's not that much help when it comes to, like, climbing and stringing rope and all that. And working. Or just help in general. One would realize that I'm a way better duck hunter than I am a decorator. Why, Jeb? I'm the most qualified. My talents are being severely underused. Uh, I guess because he's the baby. <laughs> 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 but, hey, I'm a team player. What do you want me to do? Jep, shut up! We're trying to work! <laughs> <laughs> Look at Jep over there doing nothing. I wasn't waving, you idiot. He thinks we're waving at him. I wasn't waving. I wasn't waving! What's he talking about? I don't know. I guess he just wanted to say hey. I doubt that. I ain't going nowhere to find out. I don't blame you. I'm clipping in. Hey, Dad, when you get done cleaning that gun, will you clean mine? Yeah, I'll knock it out. Thanks, Dad. Ah. Oh, look, Dad. It's Gordon. Look at this rig. Does that have yuppie written all over it? How are y'all? Yeah. Jess, Jess. What? You get to see Gordon. Yeah, I've seen Gordon, babe. No, you've never yeah. seen them two together. Rag on each other's awesome. How did you put it off marrying my sister? Oh. I just want to know. Watch it. <laughs> so how you been? You look homeless. You look mighty bright. Thank you. See? <laughs> Gordon is the only one of the Robertson clan where he seems to be some kind of psychiatrist or insurance man, something like that. Clean pants. Khakis. Like it's a bad thing. <laughs> If you took a picture of the Robertson clan, they would say, yeah, 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 Robertson, Robertson, Robertson. Whoa, oh, let's back up a little bit. Uh, who's that guy there in the pink? Fresh out of Florida. What's the deal with that dude? I'm not used to looking at a neat person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah. He married in. Oh, oh, excuse me. You ought to try it. <laughs> <laughs> what was the line to make you say, I think I'll spend the rest of my life with a guy from Florida? She was looking for a man that was not from the Paleolithic era, if you know what I mean. I don't. The caveman era. <laughs> mm. I love it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I do have a caveman. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you guys are going hunting, huh? Yeah, we're going hunting. We go every day, Gordon. Why don't you take him hunting, Phil? Mm, I think it's a good idea. My dad isn't known for being a good people person, and that's with people he likes. Go to your big duck hunter right out of Florida. Oh, yeah. I can outshoot you. I can guarantee you that. Oh. I don't know, Gordon, about that. And when he's around people he doesn't like, that's when you get the popcorn, sit back, and watch the fireworks. Well, we'll just have to find out when we get out there in the duck <sighs> blind, or whatever you call it. <laughs> Nothing's better than Dad versus Gordo. Would you like for him to go? Yeah. Yes, definitely. It's going to be embarrassing for you. Hey, whatever you think. Let's go see if you can shoot a gun as well as you shoot that mouth of yours off here. This is gonna be awesome. Is this all this thing does? Boy, this thing here runs like a Cadillac. You drive like an old lady. I must admit, old, old Gordon got a look about him. 
Yeah, looks like some kind of banker. <laughs> you can tell he ain't from around here. Well, when you have an extra spot in your blind, and you got an extra man over there on the sideline. I'd say he looks like a teacher. Maybe a psychiatrist, you know. Looks like you're going to play golf or something. As a southerner, you say, well, the right thing to do would be to give the spot to old Gordon. He got the four-day Yasser Arafat beard growth going there. But you know, when you take a guy duck hunting and he shows up in pink. This is not pink. It's watermelon. Just something not right about that. Do you have hairspray in your hair? It's a first, but uh, we'll make it work. Dash, we got to do something about them pants. What do you dude? mean? I mean, you know, white britches. Put a little mud on them britches, and you'll be ready to go there, Dash. Oh, now. This Hold is on. the old gray Hold beard. On. Hold on. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now we'll get them britches oh. the right color. Whoa, now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That'll make them nads run up your belly. <laughs> Dude, I get my shoes wet. <laughs> and my bag. <laughs> Ow! Oh! 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 Oh, let's do it again, Dad. Now you're ready to go, hon. I need something else to wear. All of a sudden, it hit me. My inner self said, this is too good. You should never listen to your inner self. It's probably wrong. Typical Willie to miss the forest for the trees while we're in the woods. No, I'm saying we, we did too good a job because now they're going to be expecting this every time. I mean, it's pretty hard to do is what I'm saying. It's not that impressive. Oh, it's awesome. What we're creating here is one of the greatest parties the world has ever known for my daughter. You know, for rednecks, this is Egyptian pyramid stuff. It's a sheet in the air. However, this is the same man who used zip ties to make an arbor for my parents' wedding. We should have got a tent. Yeah. So, what are you doing in my truck? I took me a nap. What'd you leave my door open for? Trust me, you don't want me leaving the door open, okay? Take a nap in your own truck. You know, y'all gonna raise the flag or you gonna play tiddlywinks? As you're putting on bungee cords for no, suspenders? No, these are suspenders. Si, you kind of got a wrestler look there. Pretty cool. I like it. I don't think Si would make a very good wrestler. He'd make an awesome one. He's already got the catchphrase and everything. Yeah. What is the catchphrase? Hey. No, hey is just a word, one word. Hey, look, you know, I've been saying hey before I could even remember, OK? And look, I can tell you one thing, though. It's not a catchphrase. I went to school, OK? A phrase is three or more words. Not a catchphrase. Hey, no, what's catch got to be with, with it? If you want a catchphrase, elementary, my dear Watson, live long and prosper. Book them, Dino. Did I do that? You're fired. What you talking about, Willis? Dino Mike. One, two, three. He's out. Hey, no, it's still just one word. Hey, hey ain't no catchphrase. Just one word. Hey, ho, that's about as stupid as it gets, boys. That is the catchphrase. Everybody has to have one. Well, you ain't got no catchphrase. What are you talking about? Cut to the chase, Jace. Oh, my gosh, <laughs> Jace. Everyone knows that the catchphrase is the cornerstone to being a great wrestler. That is so stupid. No, it's not. That's action. It also means that if you're going to watch wrestling, you have to have your own catchphrase. I don't think it works. No, we disagree. What a shock. I thought everybody knew this. We agree to disagree. No, we don't agree to disagree. We just disagree. We agree in our disagreement. No, we don't agree. We just disagree. We agree that we disagree. There is some agreement on the disagreement. I just want to disagree. I don't want to agree to anything. You're wrong. Except Willie. Nothing's ever easy with him. What's happening, hobos? He just call us a hobo? What are y'all up to? We're hanging tarps. And we're talking about wrestling catchphrases. Cut to the chase, Jace. That's your catchphrase? Of course it's my catchphrase. Mine's bang zone. Bang zone? That's a terrible catchphrase. Bang zone. Bang zone? That's always, everybody knows that. Bang zone. That's been around since the 80s. Bang Zone, how are you at lifting tarps? Well, I'm not here to lift tarps. I'm here to get your credit card. I got to go down and take care of the family. For what? For the hotel. Yeah, you're the one that said they could stay in a hotel. I never, I said they could stay at a hotel and say I was paying for it. 
It's family, man. Come on. It was your idea. Get the money out, fork up. You know what my catchphrase is gonna be? Put it on a card. But I got cash, too. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> Put it on the card. Put it on the card, but I got cash, Why too. Why would you need a card if you had cash? Just, uh, it's options. Just drop the cash part and maybe. You should have just called yourself the American Express. You got the bandana on? No, it's not it's the not, American Express. It's not. put it on the car, but I got cash, too. Put it on the car, but I got cash, too. <laughs> That's not, yeah. No. Hey, deep pockets, cash, doing a cash card mash. <laughs> That's right, because you got the cash or carry card, all right, with the box car will he mash. Gordon, you're beginning to look like a real man in that camo, dude. I reek. I smell like a dump truck or something. But somebody died in this thing. Well, and I don't know what it is. It's because we never wash our hunting clothes. For real? Ever. Miss Kay likes to say, you know, cleanliness is next to godliness, which is kind of a strange thing for a hoarder to say. But hey, why? Because you wash the warmth out of them. Modern people are obsessed with cleanliness. Soap powder is not a good thing for hunting clothes. That might be the stupidest thing I've ever heard. It's the truth. Leeching and bleaching one's apparel every 30 minutes, that's not next to godliness. I don't know what you call it. Yeah, Dad, I think that's only you. I actually wash my clothes. Nope. Actually, that's next to germophobia. That's what I would call that. My hunting clothes, I hang them up and let them air dry, and they'll smell as fresh as the wind-driven snow. You do not smell as fresh as the wind-driven snow. I can't smell me. Can you smell me? I can't smell you either. Oh, For real? I'm I can. not smelling me, are you? Can you smell me? Yes. Did you smell like a dragon fart? It's an earthy smell. You get used to it. How often do you personally bathe? Mm, during hunting season, once a week. That often, huh? Yo. How long has that been in there? <laughs> Now that I've stirred the hornet's nest, time to sit back and watch. I guarantee you, there are ticks and other vermin crawling around in there. I have found ticks in my whiskers. My dad can get really annoyed by Gordon. You know they invented razors. Razors? Yeah. Reason being, Gordon is really annoying. Someone needs to do a microbial inspection. They need to find out what that is growing in there. He's a great man, very annoying. I thought we were going to go duck hunting. I haven't seen a single duck yet. Where are they? You learning the exercise of patience, Gordon. You have to be patient. At some point, it does involve ducks, right? See, this is hunting. You wait. How could it be hunting if you're sitting in one spot? Hunting is the pursuit of some animal. We're not pursuing anything. We're waiting for them to come here. You learn how to be patient. I don't see any ducks in the sky. I don't see any ducks in the water. I don't hear any ducks in the distance. There's a duck. Oh, no, that's a speck on my glasses. This is fun, though. I'm glad you're enjoying it there, Gordo. You missed him. Crap, I thought I had that one. I didn't. He didn't. Gordon, I've noticed. See, we've already killed. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These seven cannot be attributed to your gunning skills. I'm not used to this gun. That's the problem. Yeah, we're beginning to believe that, mm -hmm. really. Any guy who's not a seasoned veteran makes it more difficult to kill ducks, no doubt about it. Look, blue duck, because he's not used to people like, yep, he's hunting. So he's thinking, well, if he's shot, where are the ducks? Does he know how to call? Does he know how to shoot? Does he know how to hide himself and not rubberneck? Boom, boom, boom. See, you've depressed my dog. My dog is depressed now. Maybe he can go get some therapy somewhere. Dog therapy. I'm not saying that all hope is lost with old Gordon, but we may not find it today. It would make me feel better if you could kill a duck. You know I'll what I'm kill saying? a duck. Because I don't want your manhood completely destroyed here in one day. Trust me. My manhood is fully intact. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. Ask your sister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Yes, sir. -y. Gordon, Gordon. I'm just saying. Oh, it's gross. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's fully intact. Gordon, right here. Right here on your right. Right here. Cut him. Cut him. All right, Jeff, that's a good one to quit on. Let's call it a wrap. Yeah. Where are we going? Every time that we take a yuppie duck hunting, I am reaching out to the human race. You got to give me a chance, man. I I was out of practice. No, the chances are over. Hey, hold on, guys. Fellow like Gordon, he doesn't realize all that. He just want to go duck hunting. He thinks, it's, you know, we're going to get them every day. But you just take you a few more hunts, and you'll blend in and bond with us. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I can't wait. It's uh, quite the opposite, actually. Wait a minute. Is that one right there? Hey, I got that well, what do you know? Oh, oh. Miracles do happen. Well, I'm feeling better about him. All right, we can go now. Now you're a man. Hey, I was a man before. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a man. We need to do this again. No. You know what I can't figure out? Is why Hacksaw Jim Duggan never had a saw. He just had a two by four. He should have been two by four, Jim Duggan. Or... Yeah, but they don't have the same ring. Hey, spread out thinner. It's too cloppy. Yeah. I'd like to get old Hacksaw Jim Duggan's two by four and do a little work on you. I've had a few favorite wrestlers in my life, but none of them compared to Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Ah, shoot! The man was an American through and through. USA, USA. And on top of all that, he had the greatest catchphrase the wrestling world has ever known. Oh! 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 It didn't get any better than that. All right, I'll get back to work. Back to work. That's it. That's your catchphrase. Wow. Uh, get back to work. I like it. Get back to work, Willie. You come out to the ring, you get up there and you say, get back to work. Get back to work. Get back to work. Get back, back to work. work. Ho! Oh. No, you can't get use the work. ho. That's already been used. How about a work whistle? That's it. Get back to work. That's Woo. pretty good. What in the world? It's <laughs> here! I wish I could say this is the best idea I've ever had. But I have other good ideas all the time, so it's actually hard to keep track. What is this? You're gonna like it. You're gonna like it. Plus, Jay set his hand in this idea, so automatically that takes it down a notch. Bouncy house, bouncy house. Oh, hey, it's better than a bouncy house. Nothing's better than a bouncy house. But still a solid idea. I mean, the kids, they're gonna have the time of their lives. And it's all about the kids. What? Ta-da! That's not a bounce house. What is that? It's a wrestling ring. No bouncy house? Gowan, we're still getting a bouncy house. But this is the pinnacle of the party. Is it safe? No. This is what Mia wanted. She wanted to see the cousins wrestle. This is not put together, and it looks like a lot of work. So get back to work. What happened to the whistle? Crap. Gowan. All right, y'all put this thing together. What are you, allergic to wrestling rings now? I got to pay the guy. Y'all get back uh. to work. Look at that mess. Oh, sweet. What is it? Look at this. Huh? Don't even think about it. Oh, give me the crown. Let me see it. Ah, we're ah. getting somewhere. I'm the king of this baby. Uh-oh. <laughs> Mia's gonna love these costumes. Huh? Oh. Here you go, Burger King. Or they're gonna terrify her. Uh-oh. Oh, oh God. God. Uh -oh. oh, my goodness. <laughs> 
This could be the party of her dreams. Yes, sir, Bob. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Or the beginning of recurring nightmares. That's not for guys with beards. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It won't even fit your head. It works. No. <laughs> it's a little snug. Are you taking a selfie? Yes. That looks awesome. No, it doesn't. No, seriously, it doesn't. Why not? It's too much hair coming out from it. You'd it never see matter. any of them. Huh? It doesn't matter. How if many you of those hair. have you seen with hair coming out of them? I think it looks awesome. It looks like you kidnapped a family of rats with a blue toe sack. Let me try it. All right. OK, we got something see? going now. Yeah. That's oh, yeah. it. <laughs> Look at it. That is <laughs> it. Uh, That's it. Yeah. It actually improved your look. Really? It did. Yeah. El Luchador. What's that? Bullfighters? That's a matador, dummy. I'm a luchador! <laughs> All right, we... Yeah. There's some work to be done there. <laughs> That's not even how you do it. I'm keeping this on. All right, whatever. Y'all get back to work. Oh, here we go. Woo! I'm a luchador! Yeah! Step in. Yep, there they are. Do you have fun? Oh, yeah. Miss K, that what you're looking for? What is that smell? That would be this jacket. I think a dead man laid in this jacket <laughs> for about a week before that they peeled like... it off of him. You stink, bro. I haven't smelled anything all day. Phil smells about like a dead lizard. Dad, you don't smell much better. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'd have never noticed it if you hadn't brought it up. I smell a lot of dead lizards in my day, and they don't smell good. You should try deodorant. It really works. But I do love live lizards. I play with them. Bobo plays with them, but he tries to murder them. Well, did y'all have a good time, at least? Me and Dad killed a few ducks. Hey, hey, I killed one. You killed a duck? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> More yuppie luck than anything else, but hey. Yep, yuppie luck. Pure yuppie luck. Yeah, he just winged it. Yuppie luck. I think he was a sick duck. I thought I was hallucinating. Yep. But it did happen. Yuppie luck. No doubt. Yuppie luck. Oh, I had an awesome time. I know that. Oh, it was a blast. I think y'all should go hunting again. Hey, don't y'all think you're a little bit too old to be doing this stuff? Oh, no. James! They look like little kids. Normally, in a situation like this, I would be concerned about Willie getting hurt. There you go. <laughs> but I have not seen Willie exercise this much since he stopped doing the Tybo videos in the living room. Oh, my God. OK, Tybo's going to get hurt. And I think those were on VHS, too. We'll be laid up for a week. Uh, it's been a while. You OK, babe? Mm. Y'all are old men. Y'all need to stop. <laughs> oh. The last fight that Willie and I got into, I mean, physical altercation. <laughs> we were grown men. DDT! Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. The fight ended with a belly-to-back pile driver. He's out! Onto the kitchen table. <laughs> Compliments of Jace. Wait, I'm up! <laughs> Dude, y'all got a wrestling ring? Yeah. Y'all want to go another round? You're the one that got the duck hunt. We had to stay and work. Well, that was terrible. I want to wrestle. Hey, you doing? Come on, I can show y'all the hobbage hay. Hobbage what? <clears throat> show us your hobbage hay. Heck yeah. <laughs> you got to grab him right here. Oh. My older brothers have picked on me my whole life but it's only made me stronger. Oh, yeah, get get yeah. Mama always called me her little macho man. But even the macho man couldn't take on Stone Cold Steve Austin and Andre the Giant at the same time. But win or lose, I'm gonna still go home and miss Elizabeth. Take it now, Jim! Oh, yeah. <coughs> How did he do that? Because that hurts my throat. <coughs> no. Watch. No. Hold on, get up. Oh, oh. Oh. I think I got the worst end of that. Oh, yeah. <coughs>
Look at this crew. Hey. Hey. What? Hi. Ah. Hi, kiddos. Y'all are so sweet to come in the freezing cold. The Robertsons are coming out of the woodwork for this reunion. This is going to show true love, because if people come when it's this cold, it's got to be out of love. And this just shows Mia that our family tree is gnarly and bearded. All right, well, let's go party. You want to, Mia? Let's do this. <laughs> So here we are at the Robertson family reunion on a very, very cold day, but the whole family came out, so we're gonna be getting to know a few of the family members. So how are y'all related to the Robertson family? Tell us your name and how you're related to the family. Um, Katie, this is my husband, Butch. We're first cousins. That's right. Chris Howard, I'm related to Corey because she is my daughter. Bring it. Huh? Bring it. Bring it. My grandmother, Judy, was um, Phil's sister. Paisley? Her name is Paisley. She's so pretty. My mom is related to Willie. State your name and how you're related to the Robertson family. Hello, what is your name? Jay, married in. Hi, I'm Teresa. I'm Sai's daughter. And how are you related to us? Hi, I'm Sai's grandson. Sai's grandchildren? Hey, what's your name? You want your mommy? Oh! 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 Go oh. ahead. Oh. 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 <laughs> you leave this many people turned out in that short of notice? I didn't realize we had this much family. Hey! hey. Oh, how you doing? What's up, doing? cuz? How, you how are you? So what's the ring all about? That's a surprise, son. We got a little surprise in store. Oh, yeah? It's Who doesn't like fun. a wrestling ring? Wasn't it you that one time with Amy? She had yes. you pinned down like no, a No, she didn't have me pinned down. <laughs> I was always taught to never hit a girl. And when you're young, that gives them an unfair advantage. She had me pinned down for a second, and then I spun around, threw the leg scissors on her, and lights out. That's not the way I remember it. No, that's, that's the way it happened. Plus, she knew karate. At least she said she did. You got whooped by a woman. I didn't get whooped by a woman. Hey, y'all got a fuzzy memory about these things. I guess I have to thank her, though, because otherwise I would have never taken up Tai Bo. Or is it Tai Bo? There she be. Hey, there's Amy right there. Some time for a rematch, yeah, maybe? Yeah, sorry. Hey, I buried the hatchet. Hey, Amy, how are you? No. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Well, I, I will see you on the other side. Um, John, where are you living at? Now? It was good catching up with you guys. You ready to get this thing started? Yeah. All right, I gotta find Mia. All right. Hey, all right. All right, I just want to welcome everybody to the Robertson family reunion. And, uh, thank you guys so much for showing up. Uh, good to see some uh, familiar beards. Will. Huh? You gotta turn on the mic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, the reason that we're here is because of Mia. She's uh, gonna have surgery, and we asked her what she wanted to do, and she said she wanted to have a big family party. So uh, this is for her, and we wanted to encourage her as she goes into surgery and really just be together as a family. Thank you. I asked Mia if she wanted to say a few words, and she said she would. And so I'm gonna give you Mia Robertson. <laughs> and evidently, she has some notes. She done broke out of speech here. <laughs> hey. My name is Mia Elaine Robertson, and I was born with a cleft lip and, and cleft palate. Jace and I try to focus on being brave and strong and a support system for Mia. I had four surgeries so far, and I'll have another one in a few days. It's a biggie. But then, you know, I look at her and I think, she's being brave for all of us. I have to drink all my food for three months. I'm a little scared about that because I'm really gonna miss chicken nuggets. It, it makes me realize that she's growing up. My favorite verse was Psalms 46.10. Be still and know that I am God. 
I like this verse because whenever I feel sad or have struggles, I know that God is bigger than all that, and He is bigger than any of your struggles too. My daughter is just an amazing kid. We're just all really impressed by her. Thank you for coming. Now you're probably wondering why there's a wrestling ring here. We got a little surprise for you guys. Y'all ready? Yeah. Yeah. Johnny D. Oh. Yeah. Let's get ready to wrestle. Most family reunions involve like a three-legged race, a couple of hot dogs, cheesy t-shirt. That's not how the Robertsons do things. We have none other than Axel Jenner. There's always got to be an awesome factor at every event. You need a referee. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. For us, it's not a party until someone's come off the top turnbuckle with the elbow. Uh-oh. Get out of here. Oh, 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 oh. You take a male redneck to a chick flick, he wants to fight. You take him to a wrestling event, he'll cry like a baby. It's because wrestling to rednecks is a soap opera. They're addicted to it. Let's pray together. Father, we love you. We're grateful for the gift of life. We're all mindful of Mia and the surgery that she has to undergo. We pray that she will continue to have that smile on her face and bring joy to those around her. Through Jesus we pray, amen. 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 Sometimes family means everybody has to pull together to get through tough times. Even though this family reunion was born out of something difficult, Mia's surgery, what came out of it was something great. Our kids were introduced to long lost relatives and we had a sweet backyard wrestling match. And while the tales of my own previous wrestling matches may or may not be true, what I do know is that this family reunion is going to be talked about for years. And that's one of the greatest things that family can pass down, stories people can tell for generations to come. Well, that and the recipe to Miss K's duck jambalaya. All right, y'all get back to work. Ooh. Hey, that ain't no catchphrase. <laughs> Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. We hope that Mia won't have anything bad in the surgery, and we hope that she has a great day, amen. 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 Great job, Lily. Thank you. Why don't you get up in there? Is that warm? Mm. See you later, okay? We'll play cards, okay? It's gonna start right now. You're gonna do good. You're brave, okay? I'll see you afterwards. All right, love you. Bye. Take good care of her. All our hopes were high, but you came with a surprise. And life took a turn. You brought lessons to me. Hold on. Oh, oh no, no, yeah. Everything went fine, no problems whatsoever. It was all so it went textbook. It's really, really good. Oh, yeah. So yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, look, they made you cards. Show everyone your precious in his sight. Come on, Jace, let's go. Hey, you can't rush dynamite. You said, hey, 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 hey. take it easy, take Brace it easy. Brace yourself. Ugh. All right, let's hurry up, I gotta get. What's your hurry? I've gotta find a gift for my wife. It's our 25th anniversary. Ooh, 25, that's a big one. It's a biggie. You're just now thinking about a gift? I'm having a hard time coming up with the perfect 25th anniversary gift for Corey. So I decided to spend some time with my brothers demolishing old duck blinds to see if they could help me out. 
What'd you get Missy for y'all's 25th anniversary? I didn't get her anything. <laughs> Ooh. We just did it a month later. Al? Hey. What'd you get Lisa? Yeah. Mostly it's just reminding me that if I don't get Corey the right gift, she's likely gonna demolish me too. I got Lisa 24 red roses and then one white rose right in the middle. Yeah, that, that kind of the... sucks. There were other things. We took a trip, but it, it she got the runs. Huh. That's a mood killer. I hope Corey is getting better advice than what I'm getting from these imbeciles. Here's what you get her. Never been done before. 25 earrings. Then there'd be one extra one left over. Then you get your ear pierced, and you could wear one. Be like Harrison Ford. He looks good with an earring. Robertson men aren't exactly known for their gift-giving abilities. 25 pairs of lingerie. 25 earrings. That way you get benefit as well. I've never been able to crack the gift-giving code when it comes to women. 25 earrings and 25 shoes. God, that's a terrible. Have you ever heard someone given 25 earrings? Nobody would do that. Nobody's that dumb. But I have learned a few things. When she says, you don't have to buy me anything this year, that is a lie. That means you spare no expense and you buy as many things as possible. Get her 25 doves. 25 horses. Clydesdales. 25 earrings, I'm telling you, I keep coming back that, that's, that's what you do. 25 earrings is stupid, that's out. And the last thing is if you're asking me for advice, you're in trouble. All right, I wrote all these down in my mind, so thanks for the help. It was very useless. Can we go? Let's get out of here. I still think 25 earrings was... Jay, shut up. Uh-oh, uh-oh. So I got him one. He got him. Oh, so that's bait. A little old crappy. You can throw him back. Hey, give him here. I'll fit. Hey. Good night. I hate a breed. So this would have been a great fishing hole before the invention of the automobile. You bad now than my hole, son. I mean, you said it was a secret spot. I come out here, it's on a bridge. No, ain't nobody knows about this spot, boy. Yeah. Oh, boy. So much for a secret spot. There you go. Si. What? There's two things that congregate on bridges, fish and rednecks. No, the fish are under the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you never badmouth the man's fishing hole. Si, all it takes is one person to be sending a text, and we're dead. Y'all need to go buy y'all attitude adjustment kit. Hey, don't yell. You'll give our location away. Hey. Especially if you're catching yourself a boatload of fish. Good night. Oh, oh. OK, baby, come on here. Uh-oh, hang on. There he is. Uh oh, boy, <laughs> I got one. Woo, that's a perfect eater. Hey, you was just bad out in my spot. Hey, watch the attitude and show some gratitude. I Man, I just think it's a little embarrassing. No, if you're catching fish, there ain't no embarrassment to it. You're missing the point, sir. No, that is the point. We're catching fish. Hey, you're welcome for the fish, you dummy. All right, look, we got more than we can eat in one city. Let's get out of here. Farewell. You stay here in case somebody drives by and tries to steal our stuff. You got it. Hey, what's that on your stupid car woman? Somebody trying to sell me something. No, that looks official. Uh-oh. That's a dang ticket. A ticket out here for what? Illegal parking on shoulder. Well, you need to pay this. What do you mean I need to pay? Is this your truck? This is your <laughs> home. It was your yeah, idea. Yeah, but I mean, it's your truck. If it was my truck, I wouldn't pay it. I'd go to court over it. We put that bridge across this stupid thing. I mean, it my is. taxes, your taxes, his taxes, Martin's taxes, Phil's taxes. It is pretty Your bad. taxes, my taxes, Phil's taxes. We built that bridge. Yeah, and then we can't fish on it? This still is America, right? That's we need to split it. Hey, it's his spot. I, I done told you I wouldn't pay it. I'd go yeah, to court. You, you paying it. No, I ain't paying it. Good. No. Put your seatbelt on, sir. Put your seatbelt oh. on before you get another <laughs> ticket. Don't get another ticket. Uh. 
Are you ready to party? We're gonna party if we get the lights. Woo! <laughs> this is actually really fun. All right, hand me another strand. Make sure you spell anniversary right. I mean, I think they need to go higher, babe. I, I can't go any higher. I asked for my family to help me throw this huge 25th wedding anniversary for my parents, and it's gonna be awesome. Ah, uh, why don't we let Reed? He's taller than me. Let no, him do Jeff, it. that's dangerous. Get on your tippy toes. Oh, that's not dangerous. It's pretty difficult getting all the Robertson family on the same page, but if you have free labor, you can't expect the best. Ah. Uh, These pop really. Ah. Uh, oh, oh. Easily. Ah. Uh, oh, God. At this point, I'm just hoping no one gets seriously injured. Hey, hey, hey! Mom! Y'all some snacks. You're not supposed to be here. What are you doing? Well, I just okay. thought y'all might be getting hungry, so I wanted to bring y'all some Corey, it's like snacks. 3 o'clock. Quit snooping. I'm not snooping. I'm just coming to just check on y'all. You are snooping. No, I was not trying to snoop. I was trying to be hospitable and, like, That's your contribute. Line voice. That is your live That's voice. That's my I don't. I don't have a live what? voice. What? What? <laughs> Like lights and everything. You like the lights? You might should hang them a little bit higher. <laughs> I told you. The lights are too low. Don't get hurt decorating for my party. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a live voice. I was trying to be helpful. Okay, I might have been snooping just a little bit. Okay, all right, that's enough. <laughs> I'm excited. Thanks. Sorry, guys. A little sneaky, little sneaky snake. Oh, uh, my calves are cramping. You all right? Aha, uh -huh. quit. Ah! Oh, no. How many Robertsons does it take to screw in a light bulb? Ah! Why is cheese better once you grate it? When you grate it yourself and then you buy it already grated, it ain't worth a rip. If you take the whole block and just gnaw a piece of it off, ah! it's not as good as if you grate the same block. Because when you grate it, it covers your ah. whole tongue. All right. You're late, sir. I know. Hey, you're way late. Hey, you ain't paid the ticket yet, right? Nope. What you got? Uh-oh. The reason I was late, okay, is I went and took photographs of the scene of the crime, which there wasn't a crime. This is just pictures of the road. Hey, look, I watched my fair share of law and order. So when it comes to the law and legal stuff, I got this. That is exactly where your truck was parked. What is this mystery picture? And I'm gonna do you one better. You don't have to pay the ticket. Did you spill no. something on the pictures? You know, for example, judge, I object. We're gonna go down there and I'm gonna fight it. You can't handle the proof. I'm gonna be your lawyer. Five minute recess, your honor. And this is your evidence? That's part of it. Look, at this rate, it ain't gonna be long. I'll be promoted to judge, duty, and executioner. Hey, right, here's my argument to the judge. All right, then. let me hear your argument. Well, I gotta hear this. First thing, you see any parking signs there? Nope. Okay, since there are no white lines on either side of that road, okay, I submit to you there, Your Honor, there is no shoulder. He might have a point. <laughs> it isn't a shoulder, it's a ditch. That is true. I've been parking there for 20 years, and that's at a precedence. Precedent. One of the first signs that you may be on the wrong side of an argument is if you find yourself agreeing with Si. You vote for the president. No. You set a precedent. Yeah, president. No. However, every once in a while, he has a favorable argument. Precedent. President. 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 That's what I said. President. I'm feeling good about it. But so far, this is not one of those times. Si, I'm not sure I want you representing me in a court of law. Hey, I object. Why are you banging no. on the table? You're not the judge. You don't have the gavel. No. But I think I'll just pay the ticket, and we'll go from there. Hey, I'll take care of it. I know somebody down at the courthouse. Hey. Uh, i tell you what. You can come, but if it all goes south, just plead insanity. And I guarantee you, that'll work. <laughs> Agreed. I object. I'm just cooking up hot dogs in the kitchen. Oh, my goodness, right? Look at Uncle Alan. Wow. That mustache is tragic. Look at Jeff. He's tiny. Holy cow. 
Rowdy is our new son. We met him last year in April. I was actually speaking at an adoption fundraiser and found out that there was this little boy that needed a home. We met him and fell in love with him immediately and invited him into our family. And here he is. I don't understand. Kids are doing a party and we're doing all the work. Oh. We're the one that's planning the party for y'all. All you're doing is just cooking a meal. I was a little bit nervous about meeting my, uh, my new family because where I came from, I had no siblings. I was just the only child in my family. Since I was the only child and, and only had one parent, I never got to go out of state. And so this is also my first time to be out of state. It was awesome. You're going to be in our family forever. Oh my, look, look at daddy. Can you believe that's dad? No, it looks nothing like him. Hi. Hey, Rowdy, go check the laundry. I think I heard the, the buzzer go off. OK. Willie. Look at the date. One eleven ninety two. I remember that day. We got married in ninety two. It's two thousand sixteen. Look, ninety six Probably minus two 17, is four. Seventeen six, minus two. No, six minus two is no, four. Seven, so that's twenty. I'm saying seventeen minus two is five. Which would be next year. It's not twenty fifth. It's our twenty fourth. I think the twenty fifth anniversary debacle came from me because I somehow, in that year, I just thought. It was 25. I got a little confused. I mentioned to Corey. She just went with it. You were like, Are you trying yeah. to somehow blame this on me? I don't think it's a big deal. We just go. What? OK, this is a. Sorry. Really, they've got like a huge cake coming. How do you know they've exactly got... what they're doing? I thought it was a surprise. I have an informant. Who? Rowdy. You said, this is our 25th. We need to do something big. And I was like, OK, hey, we need to do something big. It's our 25th. You just heard, let's do something big and just right. run with it. Right, that's pretty much all I heard, yeah. OK, let's just shake. Like, we just, we pretend it's our 25th. Because if I don't tell, then you're going to tell. Promise? All right. OK. Slide it. OK. That's it. All right. Well, I know what I'm getting you now for our anniversary. What? A calculator. In the criminal justice system, the people are represented by two important groups, the police who write the stupid tickets. Then you got the lawyers that protect the innocent, even their dumb nephews. These are their stories, Jack. Dun dun. Jace, take care of it. Take care huh? What? Take care That's good enough. I've heard enough. 200 plus calls. Have a seat. Sai, this isn't where you pay the ticket. I got us a hearing. What? Look, when somebody tells you that they're going to take care of a parking ticket, that usually means they're going to pay for it. Let's go pay the ticket. It's a little intimidating, but it's all right. We are, we are, we are. That doesn't mean they're going to be your counsel pro bono. Next case, Robertson. Sai, what are you doing? Sai. The way I see it, Sai could either wind up in jail in contempt of court, or somehow he could miraculously win. Bear with me, Your Honor. I got to do a bunch of talking. Either way, I'm up for seeing both. Your Honor, this is a simple case of clear set president. President? Yeah, president. We got a ticket. But anyway, I've been going there for like 20 to 25 years parking on the side of the road, fishing, OK? So the president has been set. I'm going to find you guilty. You got 19 years free. This year you didn't. Your Honor, I object. Guilty. $75 plus cost. Have a seat. Oh, you talking about a travesty? He didn't even listen to my closing argument. All right, thank you, Your Honor. I thought that went well. No, I'm telling you, boys, our judicial system is broken. Can't win them all. You can't win one. No. Hey, this is law and order, OK? S-V-P-U. Yeah! It stinks. Si, you didn't have a case. Oh, what are you talking about didn't have a case? I want $90 for wasting two hours of my life. No, hey, you yeah. didn't expect to get my bill through the mail. Your bill? Yeah, you ain't even got my bill yet. Si. You got a ticket. What? <laughs> this ain't happening. Nah. 
no, no. Hey, we fixed the pull back in there, boys. Pull back in there, son. I got another one to fight. Oh, I can't wait for y'all to see it. You didn't have to make it a big deal. It's only our 25th. <laughs> I, I think we should just tell them when we get in. Just... Corey, we're past the point now. We're not, we're not being dishonest. It's just a big party. Well, we thought it was our 25th anniversary. Yeah, we weren't dishonest at first. No. Now we're being a bit dishonest. Corey, you are the most incredible woman in the world. Thank to you. Have wow. 25 years of that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they work so hard, and they're trying to do something really special for us. So I don't want to ruin that. We have a surprise. For y'all, we have two more guests joining us. It's John Luke and Mary Kay. Oh. How's it going? I wish y'all were here. Yeah, we're sorry we couldn't yeah. be there in person. We miss y'all. We miss y'all. Can they see us? Yes. Happy 25th. Thank you. I feel like I'm on a spaceship enterprise. John Luke, are you making good grades? Uh, we'll talk about that later. Oh. <laughs> That's all. No. Really, this is a big deal to play in this big of a party. I mean, it's weird that we have children that actually are old enough to do that. Like, they're actually adults. We have children that are married. I know, that's crazy. Again, dates, she forgets these things. <laughs> One more surprise. I present to you Willie and Corey, a love story. Aww. Aww. It's little Dolly Parton. Aww. Hey, look at that. It was 1981 when young Willie and Corey met each other at Camp Shioka, and it was love at first sight. My name is Willie. What is your name? You smell funny. <laughs> 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 Two years later, in 1983, Willie got some deodorant and asked Corey to come to his family fish fry. How do you like our muscles? What muscles? Oh. Oh. What is this, a roast, or is this the story of our life? <laughs> it didn't look like young Willie had a chance, but eight years later, in October of 1991, Willie went from popping his guns to popping the question. Oh. Corey, will you marry me? Of course I will. <laughs> of course she will. I'm the luckiest man in the world! <laughs> <laughs> and in January of 92, they were married. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Don't do it for real, because that's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. No, no, hold it. Stop. Look, I ain't no math magician, but hey, 1992 to 2016. Sal, so, you just shut up. We're trying hey, to have a party here. Look, it's your 24th, dummy. Willie made me do it. We we misadded. Everybody's not good in math. Corey, kudos to you for putting up with that idiot for 24 years. <laughs> <laughs> now, let the party begin. The plan would have gone great if it wasn't for old man Witherspoon <laughs> over there who figured out the whole deal. We had it. They were totally fooled. All right, guys. Thank you all for coming. We were a little off uh, on the year. We apologize. <laughs> it is yeah. our 24th. Thank you, Sai, for revealing that. <laughs> 24 years, that's something to celebrate. It's just like 25, except for one year less. True. All right, we'll have a word of prayer. Thank you, guys. Father, we're so thankful for all the things you've given us. Thank for Corey and uh, this relationship and uh, the wonderful children that have come out of it. And Father, we're thankful for all our marriages here. Through him we pray. Amen. Amen. But with our family, an anniversary is so much more than just a date. It's a chance to look back on the reasons, both big and small, why you fell in love in the first place. But what we celebrate the most is each other. It doesn't matter if it's been 25 years, or in this case, 24 years, 
What's most important is family, because family is timeless. Hey, Dad, what did you end up getting Mom for y'all's anniversary? We'll talk about it later. Oh, you want to go to the movies? Oh, you saved these? Yeah, we went and saw Ghost. Tickets to Ghost? You saved these all these years? All these oh, years. baby. Four years. <laughs> That's so sweet. That movie was really romantic, mm -hmm. especially when you cried. I was not sweet. crying. You were. My was running. That's how I knew you were the man for me. I've got allergies. Oh, yeah. I got the works, Jack. Is that all you got? No, I got more. Son, you got enough feeder on me there. Leftovers from last night. All right, look here. Lunchtime. All right, that's my second favorite part of the work day. Right behind quitting time. What do you got there? Bologna sandwich. When you got a delicious bologna sandwich, hey, nothing can beat it. This bologna sandwich, hey, it sucks. Oh, so good. Well, I was gonna invite you to lunch, but looks like you're already eating. No, hey, I'll go. I ain't eating this soggy bologna sandwich. What you working there? Got me some uh, deer steak. It smells like deer. Hey, now. Hey, hey, no, man. Hey. As the youngest in the family, Jep never had to learn the value of sharing. I done tried to get me a piece hey. of it. Hey. See? You are my uncle, but I will cut hey, you. But if he doesn't start remembering quick, I'm fixing to remind him about the atomic wedgie. When'd you kill a deer? You ain't even told me. I didn't kill this deer. Jessica did. She run over it? Uh-oh. How much damage oh. she do on the car? She took her bow out there. Oh, bull crap. Slayed it. She killed a deer with a bow. Yes. This is your wife? Yeah, she been practicing. It ain't my fault y'all married yuppie girls. You realize that's a V-neck shirt you have on? Hey, I'm starving. How about let's go to a good steakhouse? Uh, hey, I've got a smorgasbord of, of dining ideals. Hey, or we could just go get a couple of burgers and hot dogs. Breakfast the Brockwurst? Why don't we go to the new Vietnam place down there? Parlez-vous french fries? Hey, what about some sushi? Domi arigato, Mr. Avocado roll? Did you just say Susie? Either way, let's go get something to eat. I could destroy a pepperoni pizza right now. Let's get out of here. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go teach my woman how to kill a deer. Mm -mm. You gonna oh. eat that potato? You are gonna get a knife to the chest. Get on on it. Hey, that's two points. Corey, I'm winning. Nice, babe, nice. Are Jeff and Jess coming over? Did you talk to them? No, they're eating at their house. They're feasting on the deer. Did he kill a deer? No, she killed a deer. What? Yep. Jeff has been rubbing Jessica's deer steak in my nose all day. Jessica killed a deer? Yeah. And as good as that sounds, nothing's worse than your younger brother having it better than you. So how come y'all don't ever come hunting with us? It's just not my thing. You're too city -fied. Oh, please. We let y'all hunt. We don't complain about that. You let us hunt? Let. <laughs> you let me hunt? <laughs> <laughs> no. If y'all were married to anybody else on the planet, you would hear nagging and everything else. That's like saying you let me breathe. You let me eat hot donuts. Y'all should just be happy that we don't complain about it. You let me go to the bathroom. I'll go to the bathroom when and where I want. You don't want us out there. Of course we do. Really? You know what Jeff said? Said he married a country girl and we married city girls. Oh, uh, so that's what this is about? This is about spending some quality time with our spouses. Yeah. Well, if y'all want us to hunt with you, then y'all need to give something in return. How about we get to pick the movie next time? Yeah. You want to get me to confess hidden secrets? Forget all the usual torture. You just put a chick flick up there and make me watch it. You always pick the worst movies. I always go to what you want to go to. That's because they're good. I am not watching a chick flick. Uh-uh. All right, fine. 
You can pick the movie. All right, we'll go hunting. Do you think this is a bad idea? Oh, I know this is a bad idea. There is a mountain of stuff here, Miss Kay. Where would you even start looking for blueprints from 40 years ago? Willie's asked for the blueprints for Phil's original duck call so he can hang them in the office. Oh, this doesn't look that bad. Now, all I have to do is go in the back and grab them. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. That's a lot of That's, stuff. It's a good thing I've got everything so organized. Here's an old freezer. Phil, you don't want to point out what's in there. <laughs> look. It's a bass. You've had this freezer on for 30 years with a fish in it? Maybe 28. <laughs> There's no telling what we're going to find here. Here's one of my swords, Sweet 16. Remember that? It's a Russian coat. Hey, shoelaces, monkey fist, hey, beetle Volkswagens. I was reading this in a bathtub, and I dropped it in and fell asleep. Hey, Jimmy Hoffa? So I was going to try to put it back together so I could finish the book. Gee. Years ago, a buddy of mine, Big Sandy, cleaned up at a bingo hall. Hey, I ain't seen the boy since. Hey, we might find him here. Look, look, remember when you went to Mexico and made this one? Remember that? Look at my whiskers. Hey, no gray. Tell the truth. Did you like me better with black whiskers? Well, now I like the old and gray. I truly you do. You do? Yes. What do you say? I love the poundage that you've gained. Ah, oh, that wasn't what I wanted you to say. I you love said... every pound ah, you've got. Stop it. If you look back at all the artworks of the 19th century, there ain't a skinny woman in any of them. Every one of them's old plump girls, you know, all of them kind of plump. So those artists said, boy, is there any way I can get a portrait of you, honey? Because, I mean, you know, look, you are the finest thing there is. It just is something there. It's a full-figured lady. That's the best. Is that the, is that the problem? That's the best terminology. So when I see Miss Kay, it's kind of like an artist in the 19th century. I said, now this is one here. This is a fine one here. I want some bony woman. No. Okay, y'all gonna keep all this stuff? Yeah. What if I find something I like? Well, I might give it to you if you're nice. All right. What's he doing in there? I done found me a bike. Focus. We gotta get back to our task here. Uh, yeah, what do we come in here for anyway? Hi, let's, do, let's this. do this. All right, over here. Close the door. Hey, don't okay. slam the door. What? God, look at these mosquitoes. Why not? Did you bring the spray? Shh, shut up. Look, I know Corey and Missy aren't exactly the most experienced hunters in the world, but they should know how far sound travels in the quiet of the woods. The mosquitoes are always like this. Good night. I'd like to keep your voice down. What? God, you scared me. I mean, if I fart at church, Corey smacks me. This is starting off really well. Shh, too what? loud. God, you scared me to death. Shh, you did it again. I love hunting. I've never been able to grab the rear end of my hunting partner before. I also love my wife. It's kind of exciting. Jason. Stands to reason the two things may go together quite well. We've been walking forever. I'm kind of thinking I might need to go to the bathroom. Are we just walking through the mud? Did y'all bring some food? Or not. Maybe we should just leave them in the truck. We'll just have to make the best of it. This was all y'all's idea. All right, let's go. These deer ain't going to truth themselves. We're here. Yay. We're only 15 minutes in the hunt, and Corey and Missy have already talked more than I talked on all my hunts combined. Can't believe we're finally here. <laughs> But the good news is, at least the deer have caught up on the neighborhood gossip before they run away from us. All right, this could be slippery. Here. Gosh. Here. Oh, God. It's hurting. Do you have perfume on? Huh? Do you have perfume on? Uh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. What? She's got perfume on. Can't wear perfume. Why? What deer on? You cannot smell good and hunt deer. That's a rule. A deer, his sense of smell is his greatest what? asset. You need to run around in the bushes. Like that's happening. I just assumed they knew that. Mm. All right, look. This what are you is doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What? Are you do <gasps> what? Right. Oh, oh, my oh. goodness. Jason? <sighs> You're going to be on the couch tonight. Whoa. Oh, huh? uh, yeah. What? This is to get the hunting experience. I think this is actually the first time that I've seen my lovely city wife get a little dirty. That's bad. 
<laughs> and I have to tell you, I like it. I still smell that perfume. Hold this. Corey, I'm putting mud what, on you. What up? No, you're not putting mud on me. I'll spray this up, whatever. You what can't. You... Oh. God, what is that smell? You didn't just spray that on you. Yeah. <laughs> what? That would be oh, uh, my... dough urine. <gasps> I got it for the decoy, not you. Decoy? Oh, my, <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, that's one way to handle it. Oh, my goodness. I didn't know it was for the decoy. Well, that's really, you know. that's disgusting. Corey will never believe me, but I actually did not mean for that to happen. If you see a deer headed your way, you need to stay high. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like, why? Because he'll try to molest you. That's, that's disgusting. disgusting. Just yeah. saying. Doesn't make it any less funny, though. Do you have another shirt? I ain't letting you put one of my shirts on. Smell like pee. Really? I don't think your blueprints are in here. This hey, is dangerous. This thing seen this better day, hasn't it? Good Lord. Phil and I have six sheds on the property. Boy, I spent a many hour out here, Si. But it all started with one, and that's where Phil started making his duck calls. Good night. When I walk out there now and look at where we started, all these memories come back, you know? There's my old reamer. Boy, have I used that a many a time. Board holes in them duck calls, hour after hour, day after day. After I spent all them years out here, my fingers were like this. I'd, hey, ah, hey, hey. They were like a pair, like a pair of ice grills. They were like a pair of pliers that had rust. I just stayed the course. I'm getting tired just looking at the equipment, thinking, boy. I would cut the tree down with a chainsaw, I was to saw it up in the sticks the right length. That's one of them old ones, remember that? Turn it on the lathe, sand it, coat it, take off the part where your reeds are gonna go by myself. <laughs> Those were the good old days. What we got back in here? Look out. Did you find something? Uh-oh. I think we got a bingo. You... United States patent. <gasps> I believe it is, and the drawings and all. Well, what do you know? Huh. Good night. Pages just started turning yellow, this old. Four years. <laughs> well, in the grand scheme of things, the old blueprints prove. Look at here, here's the other part of it, right here. That's it. We've hit the jackpot. That I was not as much of a dumb redneck as some might have suspected. Now that, that is your roots, honey. I knew I'd find those plans somewhere. The search is over. Hey, okay. been a good day. Sometimes that hoarding pays off. Score one for the hoarders. That's it. Yep. It smells like pee in here. Corey, that's you. Oh. <laughs> Even with the pee smell, still kind of romantic. Romantic? There's something about being out in the woods, surrounded by the wilderness. You look good in that mud. Thanks, babe. Makes a man feel a little frisky. Should have been a mud wrestler. <laughs> I'm pretty sure here, this is feeling the vibes. I just do not see how this is fun. It may be time for us to find our own blind. You know what I mean? <sighs> we should have brought something to do. This is what you do. This is what you do. You sit and you wait. <gasps> Y'all can at least make it comfortable in here. You need to have, like, a lined bench, like, with pillows or something. I don't even know what to say to that. I should sit here and be quiet. You know those ideas that sound good at the time, and then you go out and do it, and you realize that it was stupid? If we put, like, a hammock in here, oh, yeah. I'll bring a book. I could do I this. I could say, me and snacks, for sure. Oh, snacks. This is one of those times. This is, shh, 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 shh. Did you hear that? Hello? Shh, don't get up to her. Finally, we got some action. There's a buck to it. I'd say about 200 yards. Where? Say the flicker. See? Flicker? I don't see. I don't even care what it was. If I have to spend one more second next to Pee Pants McGee, I'm gonna gag. Let's go down there and cut him off. Let's go, he's not coming here. To be completely honest, Jace could have said he saw a coffee cup out there and I'd have thrown myself out of this blind. Get your bow. Oh, no, okay. no, you stay here. What? Get, your, get your bow. If he comes by here, you get him. Oh, wait, okay. That's divide and conquer. Are you serious? Yeah, we have a better chance. Dad, come in. We ain't gonna kill crap with Corey and Missy around. Don't leave us here for long. Let's go, Will. She stinks like pee. What'd you say? Nothing.
I think the mosquitoes are getting worse. Yes, they are. I am so <sighs> mad right now. I know. How long have they been gone? Over an hour. Look, I grew up in the suburbs. This just ticks me off. I like my pedicures, my bubble baths, and my classical music. <sighs> in what world did Jason think this was a good idea? I'm walking back. I'm not sitting here any longer. Let's go. You think you can find the truck? I'm willing to right. try. I don't want to sit here anymore. Yeah, me neither. We'll just follow the road. Willie is in for it. You are filthy. I know. The next movie that comes out that's reviewed as an emotional tearjerker, oh, he's going twice. All right, we're out of here. Missy, I'm counting on you. I'm terrible with directions. They are so going to pay for this. I <laughs> say, Willie owes me big time. <laughs> Fun looking at these old pictures. Yeah. Look at this picture of Sai from Vietnam. Hmm. Sai, this picture you sent us when you were in Nam. What's that? You characterized yourself on the back of it as a hell raisin. What could have been going through your mind when you wrote that? Well, hey, I never entered a spelling bee. <laughs> okay, y'all sure y'all don't want this stuff? Take it on. All right. Ben K may have found what they was looking for, but hey, look here, I'm just getting started. Hey, I'm thinking go serious shopping here. Y'all sure y'all don't want this? This is 10 times better than going to the mall. You want to play some badminton for old time's sake? I may not use any of this stuff, but hey, look. Sure y'all don't want this? <laughs> I can set it on Greg's list. Look at it. Hey. <laughs> you have any idea what I can get on eBay for this thing? Booyah! How about it, sir? Willie's the worst with directions. Really? He's probably lost in the woods right now. Don't even say that, because we have no keys. I thought men were supposed to be good with directions. Well, they better get back here sooner. I'm going to let myself into that truck with this golf club. <laughs> I should have seen this coming. So whenever Jason asks me to step out of my comfort zone, this is why I don't step out of my comfort zone. I want to go home. It's not comfortable. I think I hear something. There they are. Three hours later. What in the world? We were fixed to come get you on the truck. Yeah. We took it upon ourselves to walk back. You came to the truck. Walk back? Uneventful hunts are bad enough. Y'all just left us in the blind. And experienced hunters know that all too well. Well, we tried to go kill a deer. We thought y'all were lost or something. But add in your pea-soaked wife, you've got the recipe for disaster. Well, look, y'all, I mean, this is part of hunting. We weren't hunting. Y'all were scouting. We were sitting there defenseless and had no communication. We're trying to turn hot, yuppie women into deer-slaying killers. I tell you this, the next deer I shoot, I'll cook it for you. Babe, you would do that anyway. That's a good point. We may never, ever go deer hunting again. But we may make a return visit to the deer blind. Y'all ready? Yes. I just can't believe y'all made it back to the truck. That's oh, amazing. Hi, babe. Oh, that's you get. That's what you get for leaving me. Uh, that is a good quality. I'm never doing that again. Never, ever, ever, ever again. Ever, like, ever. Hey, we should do this again. Never. Well, this was fun. The big hunters. So did anyone get a deer out of all this? No. What's that smell? Corey's got pee all over. <laughs> no. She bathed herself in dough. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh. Missy took a mud bath. Yeah, I didn't take one. I was given a mud bath. <laughs> These two girls, they wore perfume. <laughs> when someone is to be red neckified, you begin with the hunt. Take them hunting. So at the end of the day, did you girls say, now this is what I've been waiting for, deer hunting? But from my observation, it has had the opposite effect. No, not so much. <laughs> Instead of having two sons with country wives, what we've ended up with is two yuppie sons with smelly city wives. Y'all get to spend quality time with your husbands. That's, That's true. That's we did. Time. I know I rag on Jeff a lot, but I got to hand it to him. Somehow he got Jessica to not only go hunting, 
but also to enjoy it. The lesson we learned today was do not go hunting with your husbands unless you plan on being completely self-sufficient. Maybe he's not as dumb as I think he is. No, the lesson is y'all should have just stayed at home and not went hunting. <laughs> your wife's out killing deer, our wives can too. She can kill that deer. What? what? <laughs> you didn't shoot the deer? Mm -hmm. I didn't kill a deer. No. He lied. I killed that deer. <laughs> you lied? <laughs> I can't believe you lied. I take it all back. Jeff's an idiot and a liar. Dude, I was joking. <laughs> I didn't know you was going to, you know, pour deer urine all over and soak her in mud. Why'd you do that? I thought it was funny. <laughs> it's raining cashews. I thought I saw a mosquito. I got it. I got it. You're good. Oh. You can get washing the deer pee off me. Well, that was funny. Everybody's funny, funny, funny. Huh? Funny, funny. Father, we thank you for a good day on planet Earth. Thank you for a good, safe hunt. We love you, and we are grateful that you love us. Amen. Amen. In every family, each member tends to take on a particular role, not unlike the seven dwarfs. You've got grumpy, dopey, sleepy, lazy, horty, naggy, and whiny. I'll let you figure out who's who. Sometimes you feel the need to change those around you, like when you're searching through Hordy's piles of junk or trying to teach Nagy and Whiny about the wonderful world of hunting. But most of the time, it's better to appreciate those around you for who they are, because there's no way to change this bunch of stubborn dwarfs anyway. I smell something funny. That would be your mom. She showered in dough urine. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you have December 9th through 13th? I told you, in December, I'm going to be hunting. Willie, we have that buyer coming in. Maybe you can get one of those um, cardboard stand-ups of me. <laughs> and just put it back right. in the chair. I'm in a Good. meeting. This will only take a second. I'll right. see with this you. This is an emergency. Why is everybody coming in here? It's what? an emergency. Si. Why do you have to do everything together? Because we're friends. We got a situation. Si is acting really weird. It took all four of you to tell me that? It's concerning. All right, get back to work. Look, telling me size acting strange is not something I consider an emergency. That's like telling me the sun is hot, water is wet, and Kenny G plays a saxophone. Sai acting weird is not exactly news. This is really weird. Does he have all his clothes on? Most yeah, of the time. But, okay. but, but it's not just about that. These are just the facts of life. So when my employees take time from their work day to come into my office and voice their concerns, well, CEO Willie gets suspicious. Don't just ask me. His wiggling band come out of the wobbling hole. What'd he say? His wiggling band come out of his wobbling hole. I'll make a note of that, and you'll go back to work. So now CEO Willie has to become Detective Willie to see if these guys are telling me the truth or if they just want a coffee break. OK, so what is he doing differently than he normally does? Corey, don't he, even engage him. Look. Well, I mean. He's just babbling. That's normal. That's normal for him. It's like if a rapper went insane and got really old, and then he just started talking. Is he like Flavor Flav weird or like? He don't have a clock. Well, it's a cuckoo clock. Where's he at right I don't, now? It's hard the to describe. Gone. You need to come watch. Yeah, are the clocks gone? Hang on there. Where's he at yeah, right now? The cuckoo stayed, but the clock OK, left. enough of the cuckoo. Okay. Where is he at? He's actually working. What? Is he messing up the inventory? I'm sure he is. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, I need look. to stop that. Rapping yeah. may be a bit of a stretch. He just He's rhymes. Rapping? Well, can I just work with normal people? You hired us. Technically, most of you are related. You came with the job. started, it made us run into the jungle of Cain. Here? We said, well, let's hop on the train. What? There he is. And then that's when we run into old Wayne. There's nobody. Is somebody out there? No, there's nobody out there. Cork. Maybe he's sick or lost his mind. Stop! That's what I'm talking about. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. Laugh. Is he, like, rhyming things? Yeah, it's like he's, he's discovered the English language for the first time. Pork! Oh. That's a yelling. That's weird. We have an emergency situation here. Stop, drop, and roll. Like, 
Oh, he's on fire. When Jace told us that Si was acting weird, we were concerned. Correction, you were concerned. I'm used to that. I think he's just getting older. You know, when people get old, they just start <laughs> saying weird things. I'm not sure he's all there. I've been convinced he's not all there. Well, I mean, like, do you think? He's on drugs? No, we I'm need just, to take I don't him to, know. I think I'm we just, need to take him to the doctor. I think you need to look at everything. That's weird. <laughs> Maybe he's been exposed to some kind of weird mold. Wow. Whoop, 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 whoop. I mean, we're all gonna get old someday, and you know, we could lose our mind. Especially you, because it runs in your family. Mm -hmm. You better start doing crossword puzzles. Has he been sleeping as much as he? He's been sleeping an incredible amount. Hot. Oh, there you go. Okay. Okay. I like you doing something. So look, guys, put yeah. those boxes yeah. there. I think. Done. There I'm gonna go. put this one right here. Okay. Looks good. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I appreciate the help. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. Hey, what are y'all doing? Organizing stuff. Y'all weird. I'll take that We're as weird. a compliment. Yeah, you're weird. Hey. Thank you. What? Um, I was going to go buy everybody lunch. You ready? No. It's Let free. Let me get this other order out. Whoa. It's free. All right. He's never turned down That's any something. free food. Are you really buying lunch? Only if Sai joined us, so. I think that was that just a test to see. Cool. Everybody's on their own. You can't go back. Yeah. Yeah. She no. said free. Don't you say it. Yes, I can. Said Watch it. me. Wait a minute. You're breaking the lunch protocol. That's just hate. I'm going to yeah. start talking to myself. I want free lunch. Look, I'll go ahead and read my letter to Cy first, if that's all right with y'all. We're not reading letters yet. I, I wrote this uh, long letter. We're just... We're just asking what's going on. It's not a letter thing. I thought this was an intervention. You said it's an intervention. This isn't an intervention. It's not an intervention. It's just a talk. Okay. There he is. Hey, right, put that away. Surprise! Surprise. Did I forget? Is it my birthday? Uh-oh, he doesn't know it's his birthday. This is a bad time. It's not a surprise. Well, is this one of them invention things? No, it's yes. not an intervention. Just Look, I'll go ahead and read my letter. Don't read that stupid letter. It's typed up and everything. I mean, I'd like just to Just let me have it. We're just sitting what? there. We were just going to ask you a question or what two. What y'all, you idiots yelling Look, surprise for? What's the surprise? We were just wanting to know, is everything going OK? You've been acting a little weird. Durr than you normally do. Well. Y'all, you know, look, I caught a little bug this year. Oh. And, he's sick. and look, sick. I didn't want to tell y'all until I got better. No. Oh, Are you sick. better? Is it mental or? Sigh. No, it ain't that. There you know, were some signs. Look, I caught the music bug. The music bug? Yeah. Hey, right. it might have took me 68 years to get started on my music career. There it is. Hey, right. well, night, like, look, better late than never. I've been out honky tonking at night. Oh. With my, my band. Goodness. Yes. Well, That's you were why I've been taking so many naps lately. Hey. If you stay up to 2 a.m. honky-tonking, it's rough on a man, especially at my age. What are you, time warping back to 1978? I no, don't know no, there was look, a big honky-tonk scene here. Look, all the good guys start out on the honky-tonk circuit. Hey, people always tell me young kids, OK, follow your dreams. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard of. They're kids, OK? Look, you need to leave following your dreams to the old dogs. He's pursuing his dreams. Hey, I play bars, I play nursing homes, OK? Hey. I'll even come to a bar mission, you know, if you invite me. Bar who? The nursing home? Yeah. Uh, the nursing home is a tough gig. We're the ones that need to be ch chasing the rainbows, OK? So we can go out in a blaze of glory. Well, Sal, look, I'm not paying you all day just to hang around and buzz and hiss and write songs and sleep. Yeah, I know. So I'm going to have to officially retire from Duck Commander. Whoa. Are you really retiring, or is it like you always do? Oh, uh, you quit okay. like 30 yeah. times. Man's got to chase his dream. You yeah. better get to running, big boy. What do you mean, get to running? I'm just saying, you're about oh, no, 50 I'm yards in my behind. Prime, sonny boy. I'm in my prime. He's in, He's in his prime. prime. Can I go ahead and read my letter? I, st I spent a long time on this. <laughs> hey, don't read that letter. Oh, you wrote a letter? What's an intervention letter? It's about how you need about to... About me? Yes. Read it to me. I may turn it into a song. <laughs> Crank it up, Jethro. Your life is going to have to change in the following ways. Number one. No, no, that's junk, OK? I'm out of here. <laughs> I don't have to take that crap. He gone. I think this is for real this time. He's either really retiring or he's really crazy. Both. <laughs> <laughs> or he'll be back in two weeks.
Well, Saz, I actually retired. I think his career in music will be short-lived. What do you think? So I can't write a sentence, much less a song. Great at fragments. Are y'all gonna get Sire retirement gift? No. Depends. Funny you should mention that, because I got him a little... What? Mm. <laughs> I need Vanna White this baby. <laughs> He's not gonna like that. And that's expensive. You don't see the problem with that? What? They want to forget about time when you get old. That's all old people do. No, what time's don't. lunch? What time's breakfast? What time's my nap? What time's murder, she wrote? His whole life is like a cruise ship. Did you save the receipt on that? I actually got it engraved, so... Total waste of money. Old people like gold. They don't like gold. watches? It's where it's at. He's gonna throw it away. He's gonna throw away gold. Yeah. He's senile and stupid, but he ain't that stupid. There he is. Uh, what are you idiots up to? I thought you retired, sir. Hey, look, consider this my three-day notice. Sit down, what? idiot. Get out of my chair. Sir, si, you don't even pay. work here. Go back to your office where you belong, fat boy, and let me sit down <laughs> in my chair. Sai. <laughs> si. Sai's si given a lot to me over the years, mostly gray hairs and an ulcer. I need to get these guys ready to go after I leave. They'll be fine, believe me. It'll no, take... this is going to be a huge thing for y'all to overcome. Yep, things just won't be the same around here without Sai. Si. Who knows? We may actually get some work done. So what do you want for your parting gift? Well, we'll have a slamboree. A wingding. You want a font? A shindy. Oh, a shindy. A yellow, shindy. A party. A, 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 a party. Yeah. Party. party. Not okay. just a party, a blowout party. Now, we'll get you a cake, and on your last day here, we'll have a little party for you in the conference room. No, you're going with the old formal retirement. Oh, hey, give him a watch, you know, with his initials on it. No, I ain't saying that Say watch. goodbye to him with a cake in the conference room. That ain't a party. That's boring. Hey, look, guys, I put my whole life into Duck Commander, okay? And look, there's gonna be a giant void when I leave. So look, I need to be sent off properly. You know what I'm talking about? Watches are cool. Do what? You get like a gold watch, that thing goes up in value. Hey, I'm retiring. We know. What am I gonna need a watch for? Time still goes look, on, so. Hey, here's what I want you to do. I ain't talking about just a party, okay? I'm talking about it's got to be a party. I want a band and a stage, okay? I'll get up and sing a few songs, and we'll have a blast. Si, I'll get a backup band, and I'll blow your mind. I don't oh, have a no. band, Sal. You don't have, I'll take care of the music. All you got to do is get the rides, okay? The House of Mirrors. Chili Dog. Hey, Chili Dog. Photo Corn booth. dogs, okay. Gotcha. And for baby sister over here, he wants to have the photo booth. Here's how big I want this party. We got astronauts that are fixing some equipment in outer space. I want them to look down and say, I'm bored to death up here fixing this stupid satellite. I wish I was down there at Uncle Si's party. That's where it's at. So si, we'll try to plan you some sort of party. I don't know if we can go that far, but we'll try to get something. Dancing, okay. music, fun. Okay. All right, we'll a see. real party, not just a piece of cake. And thanks a lot. For I was the just memories. gonna get you a nice gift. Thank you for your gifts. Okay. Hey, look, I need to take this chair with me. No, you can't have the chair. That's company look. property. Company for property. It's not in quotes. It is. Company yeah, it is. You don't need hey, air quotes. I've for been that. working in this thing for forty years in this no, shop. No, you His technically you just hey. sat in it. You uh, hadn't been working in it. This place really does stink. So I'm hard. glad I'm retired. That chair stinks. Well, I have it clean. Huh. Don't worry. I'll get you something. It'll be way nicer than that chair. Okay. I doubt that. I'm gonna have to get up on stage and sing, take this job and shove it. Cause I ain't working here no more. <laughs> <laughs> and then he gone. So Sal si wants us planning my retirement party. He's retiring. That'd be fun. He asked for a party. He asked for a, <laughs> asked for a big party. He I said we party. would have a, you know, cookie cake in the conference room. No, he we're gonna have a He said he wanted a blowout, a shindig, or a bing bong or something. What's a bing bong? I, I couldn't. That'd be fun. I think that would be. Fun. I think it would be yeah. fun too. Yeah. And he, how long has he worked for the company? I mean, we should throw him Work? a good party. Probably a year, but <laughs> he's been there, twenty-five. <laughs> I want to give Sai a really good retirement party. See, that's where I differ. Really? I mean, the last five years has been a retirement party for him. <laughs> 
Okay, but he is retiring, and that's a big deal. You've got to admit, it'll be a little bit less exciting without Cy around on it. It'll mostly just be quieter. He said he's got the music, so. Well, he can't do the music for his own party. Wait, he's singing? He's singing. That's interesting. Well, when you retire, we'll get Cy and his band to play at your party. I think by the time I retire, it'll be the memory of Cy's band. <laughs> I don't think any of them will be alive. <laughs> he ain't Mick Jagger. Yeah. So we need something to go with the music. Do y'all have any yeah. ideas? We can make some t-shirts. I kind of like the t-shirt idea. Kind of like when you have like for a reunion or yeah. something. Yeah, and like then we can always... You have your t-shirt yeah. and it's like commemorative. Mm -hmm. Wait. That's good. Is he moving to Nashville? Oh, he didn't say that. Maybe y'all could get a Dude. duplex together. Me and Sa <laughs> are not going to Nashville together. <laughs> I'm married to Nashville as a single lady. Making I do not need my crazy single uncle ladies. Sai rooming with me. Sa retiring is not the only big thing happening in our family. Sadie is moving to Nashville. It's gonna be kind of quiet around the house without her there. It is. We'll only have three kids at home. I know, that's weird. It's a lot of kids. <laughs> oh, I got Sadie, a little going away what present. Are hmm. How about that, huh? Oh, wow, Dad. <laughs> oh, How about wow. a solid going like watch? Wow. Wait, wow. Did you really get me this? You can tool that around Nashville. I think it might be a man's watch, Molly. That is. It's a little bit sad seeing our kids leave home, but they all come back eventually. It's like an eagle returning to its nest. Is that it's a thing? nothing like an eagle returning to its nest. What about ducks? Do they come back to their nest eventually? They get shot. Why does it say SR, hey, I'm retired? It's like Sadie Robertson, hi, you retired. You're going to Nashville. So does I not want to go to watch? He, oh. he didn't like the idea. Well, thanks, Dad. All right, you're welcome. I should not have gotten it engraved. So I think we should have a roast at Sai's party. Like, we got everybody's cooking a roast, or? No, nah, like we're making fun of him. Well, he said he's doing the music, so I figure we better have some sort of entertainment. After giving it some thought, a comedy roast is the perfect way to celebrate Cy at his retirement party. Well, they've been roasting old Cy for about 50 years. Yeah. Well, it's not real hard to figure out some way to make fun of Cy. He pretty much does that on his own. Ridiculing one another is a Robertson family tradition. So I think my family members are really going to have some fun with this. Maybe too much fun. And I got him a watch, and I've already re-gifted that. I tried to pawn it off to Sadie. I told you it was a bad idea. Well, what in the world would he want? You know what we ought to give him? What? I'll get him a pair of beaver underwear. Like a diaper? Or would you, like, yeah, buckle he's it He's getting to the age where he might need a diaper. Think jockey strap for the water. It may get old Christine all fired up. Here we go. Well, I don't know. I think that ship has sailed. You think it's going to take more than beaver underwear? Couldn't hurt. Oh, boy. Well, he's been grabbing for the last 25 years about that old Duck call, that old cut out magnum. Oh, I know, I know. He won't shut up about it. Sai's favorite call that we ever made was called the cut down. Unfortunately, the call is no longer in production. That's a good idea if that's what he wants. Actually, we kill more ducks when he didn't have a duck call. Well, that's true. But, you know, save it for the roast. Problem is, the mold broke, and to fix it, we're going to have to go to Mississippi. That's where all our molds are for our plastic duck calls. We'd have to go over there to the mold place, resurrect the whole mold. That's going to cost more than a gold watch here, Will. Well, it ain't cheap, but well, you... but if we could sell them, yeah. Oh, you'll well, sell them. Yeah, sell them. We need a new call. Put down there, Cy Slayer, you know, get them while they last, whatever. Yeah, and then we could, like, give Cy the first one. Oh, yeah. Off the new mold. Can y'all go tomorrow? You're paying me. I'll go wherever well, you want to. Yeah, whatever you think. Maybe you give me a little overtime, you know. Oh, boy. Mileage. Quit doing that. You run into a wall. <laughs> Literally. I guess y'all wonder why I brought you out here. Try to figure out where we're going to lunch. No, nah, we ain't going to lunch. You brought us here because you're old and you have bad judgment. No. Lunch? No, no lunch. Because you needed something to do. No. Lunch? Look, you guys need to focus, all right? I got two days left. And then, hey, all this knowledge I've got is gone forever. 
so we're not going to lunch. No, we ain't going to lunch. All right, fine. Show us your knowledge. I can just show it to you better. Oh, look, he just asked you to show I mean, it, not to tell I hate to break it, it to you, but when I think of knowledge, I, I don't think of you. Knowledge. Look, as you get older, OK, <clears throat> you need to share the wisdom you've gained with the younger generation, OK? It's called praying it forward. Check this out. What, right, Nora? All right. Huh. How many ply is this? Four ply. It's like a cloud, man. Some of you may think it's weird that I've got a secret vault of, you know, toilet paper at work. Well, hey, you ever wipe your behind with steak knives? If there's one area that I'm concerned about or I'm gonna take care of, it's gonna be my behind. It smells good. It does. Send it. What are y'all doing? Oh, we're just checking out some toilet paper here. Yeah, I don't think I even want to know. <laughs> you want to borrow some? <laughs> no, I, thanks. What's next, huh? I saved the best for life. I knew it. That sucker bought us lunch. OK. The grand finale, huh? Uh, the grand finale. It's the last one, boys. This better be good. Well, what do you see behind me? Boxes? That's what I thought. What in the <laughs> world is that? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh -oh. Look at that. He gone. OK, boys. And let the nap begin. <laughs> <laughs> this hidden nap fort takes things to a whole new level. It's like Sai's bat cave. But instead of using it to fight crime, he uses it to fight drowsiness. Hey, look here. Nightlight, cooler, bed. Got a picture of a cat. Hey, no, that ain't just a cat. That's sweet pizza. I'm a compadre. I can't wait to use this thing for myself. Although I'm not gonna drink out of the iced tea jug in there because who knows how clean that is. Are you missing a urinal? Actually, is that even iced tea? Hey, there's my nap fort, boys. So you came in on your off days to build something to avoid working. Yeah. That seems kind of ridiculous. That's from the man that don't have himself a nap for it. Now, I will fumigate it, but... Yeah, I bet you better get a different mattress. Oh, no. That ain't probably wrong got with a few mattress. stains hey, on it. Cups of the leaves. mattress is fine, boys. I ain't built for no back seat. Ugh. They used the initial idea of that cut out magnum. It is hot back here. Was to get air. Would it kill you to turn the air on? Inside the plastic so the resonance would be greater. If you put ice cream in a cup and it swirls up three inches above the lip of the cup. Hey, let's get some ice cream. When that ice cream melts, you don't have but a half a cup of fluid. The reason it stood up is it had air in it. Seriously, if you see ice cream, let's stop. Well, he wasn't talking about ice cream. Well, he either. said ice cream. He said. But he's talking about we're taking liquid and we're creating a solid, like a smoothie. When it comes to the technical aspects of making duck calls, Willie is clueless. Oh. But he is paying for this thing, and he usually buys lunch. So he's along for the ride. Did he kill you to stop and get some ice cream? No, I, we're not getting ice cream. Is there ice cream there? Riding along with my dad and Willie kind of brings back memories of when we were kids. And I feel the same way now that I did then. Maybe if we could get Willie in a car seat, it would help him calm down and be quiet. Do they have car seats in husky sizes? Surely they do. Here it is. How long have you been here, Phil? 40 years. All right, Willie, you might ought to let us do the talking here. Just have your checkbook ready. You think they got ice cream in here? <sighs> no. Here's the plan. The loading dock is the stage, and so everything works off of that, which means, yep. Yeah. That cannot stay there. What is that? It's a photo booth. What's well, part of it? Well, it's not really a booth, but. Well, I'm not finished. Okay. It needs to just like move a little bit because that's the stage and you're pretty much like blocking the stage at this point. So right. it's gotta go that way. But most parties nowadays, like the photo booth is like the best thing. Well, but you don't want it to block anybody. Yeah, but I have props. I mean it's gonna be awesome. Hmm. You know, the main part's gonna be the band and the, you know, entertainment. 
I'm gonna have to disagree with you on that. Maybe like over there, kind of close to where the dumpsters are. Do you guys have like a thing against photo booths? No, I love yeah. photo booths. Okay, just, I just making sure. Yeah, it's just, the, yeah. yeah. It's my photo booth, I'm gonna put it where I wanna put it. All right, so Sadie, yeah, nice let's just set up all the tables and oh. then oh, yeah. um, set up the chairs. And then I think we'll wait till tomorrow to put like tablecloth oh. on and Jeff, otherwise. are you? I just broke it. Uh-oh. I think it's fine. You need some help? Oh, I got it. Okay. Haters keep, gonna hate. Keep going. A little more. Stop and get you some haterade. These guys just don't understand what makes a party a party nowadays. In your photo booth, you'd want it where you'd put it in the center. My photo booth, put it over here in the corner. Nobody puts a chip in the corner. The electric slide, out. The Macarena, out. Photo booths, in. Ah. Uh oh, oh no. Ah. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, he's got it. Not only does it provide tons of awesome fun, but in a few years, Sai's si gonna need these pictures to remember that his party even happened. Let's just start putting chairs out. We'll Mom. get the guys. We'll do tablecloths. Sai. Sai? Sai Robertson, si? you are not supposed to what be here. What are you doing here? What do you mean why I ain't supposed to be here? Technically, it's your stiff. party. Look, I know, but I got worried, though. Got worried about what? Where's my backup band and me gonna sing from? The loading dock. No, no, no. You gotta understand something. The guys that are coming to back me up, let's see how to put this. Well known would be an understatement. You okay, got... and this would be rude to them. Okay, to You've ask got... them to play from a loading dock. We ain't cargo. They gotta have a stage. Well, look, that's that's a big stage. Now, hey, I tell you what, I know Willie just bought that field. We could put a big stage out there, look, put flamethrowers on each side of the stage. They will shoot flames like 100 feet in the air while we're singing. Then the proud technical guys can set up the fireworks behind it, and they'll blow up everything around here. It'll be great. Wow. We weren't really planning on flamethrowers. Yeah, but we yeah. have a photo booth that's well, going to no. be cool. No. Look, they just don't understand what's going on here. I've got some top-notch musicians coming in here, OK? You need to go. We've got it. All right. All I'm, right. I'm going to get out of y'all's hair. Bye. Think big. Think Thank big. Look, this stage is an insultment, OK? That's an insult and an embarrassment. So I guess Not we're... think big, think colossal. Colossal? Colossal. OK, this place has got to look pro-amazing, OK? That's professional and amazing. Together, okay? Okay, so Shoot I Shoot for the stars. Shoot for the stars, okay. Okay. Forget everything we just talked about. We're gonna put the stage right there. So we have to move all this? Yeah. And the photo booth. Who's gonna tell Jeff? Well? Been a while since you've been in there. Been a hey, while. Yeah. Wow. What's going on? Cam, how you doing? I ain't seen y'all in a while. It's good to I see know. you. Last time hey. I saw you, you were a young buck. Yeah, that was a while hey, back. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> old Bill it was a lot younger than he is now, too. Yeah, tell us about that, old man. <laughs> you hadn't been here in forever. Well, the first time I rolled in here, Y'all's receptionist, she said, the soup kitchen, sir, is right on down the road. I'm like, yeah. the first time you walked in, you yeah, That's how it started. Then, <laughs> we're trying to get this to cut out magnum. If we get it back working, we'll put it back into production, and then we're going to give Cy the first one. We brought our money man there. Hey, what's Who up, guys? How you doing? Who is that? Hey, I'm Willie. Nice Willie? to see you. Oh. So you actually brought him over here for a chance. That's why he's hiding in the back. He's waiting on what's your cost here. <laughs> so did we talk about how much it would cost? Or We'll right. send you a bill later. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me go make yeah. some shots. Let's make some shots, and we'll, right. we'll be here. When I went over there to talk to him about this latest mold, I had not been there in probably 25 years, maybe 30, so it was kind of like a walk down memory lane. Are those the duck calls? Yeah, yeah. these are bringing oh, back yeah. memories. Oh, that's some of your Bill, old. Bill, for 40 years, we made a lot of different calls. Haven't we, though? I saw some of our old original duck calls on the wall, you know. First thing that crosses my mind looking around is, boy, we've come a long way. <laughs> a long way. I remember putting that one together. You remember this, Phil? I remember it. The most copied duck call in the world. Some super glue and a bandsaw, and I put that configuration together. 
I came up with the first Mallard Drake call ever, first pintail witch and teal call, first gadball call, first wood duck call. Yeah, I can remember when Phil called me and told me about it. He's got us a call that we're gonna have to make, and I made it out of a little child's whistle. Yeah. I said, are you joking, Phil? On Christmas Duke? Day, I remember that. Yep. I remember. When everyone else was doing whatever they're doing, I was out there in that old shed of mine trying to get that sound just right. It was a chore, but I stayed the course. Remember we did this for breast cancer awareness? Yep. Maybe you would, Duck. Saw a few of those. Sai's retiring, so it's the end of a long era, but it's in good hand with old Willie Boy and Jace. They know what they're doing. Yeah. There he goes. Need to leave that to the experts. All right, Jace, I got a couple of shots. To All try right. Out. What's up with this color? That's a sample color. Is that cheaper? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Crank down on it, Jace. <laughs> that is as sweet and tender as a mother's love. <laughs> Willie, pay the man. The cut down magnum has been resurrected. We probably love. won't sell a whole lot. That's why we need to negotiate on the price. But good work, boys. You did good. Well, I'll call right, you later. Well, these Mississippi boys we'll don't sell around on the price. Okay. Oh, good, good job, man. All right. All right. 1500 is that what we said? Yeah, 1500 <laughs> 1200 I'll call no, you later. No, 15 See we'll you we'll later. We'll split the difference All somewhere. Right, I'll be good. It's a marathon, not a spread. I'll be good. All right, let's get some ice cream. Size so never going to know what hit him. I know. I don't think we're going to know what hit us once you start singing. They don't even need the amplifiers. I mean, no, you can hear so right. the church no building when he says he's yeah. he to The sing. one skill he possesses is volume. <laughs> yeah. All right, Sai. Uh -oh. Here we go. Oh, we got oh, your little shindig. Surprise. Look at here. Oh, 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 there's your sling. I knew you'd like it. Well, look, if I'm the guest owner of this thing, let's get the party going. <laughs> That's we're not good. doing the music. We're gonna have a little oh. roast first. What are we doing? Roasting a pig? No, we <laughs> kinda, but like a super skinny pig. Oh, y'all are roasting. Hey, yeah, okay. This ought to be good. You'll have, you'll have a chance okay, to Okay, this ought to be good. Yeah, of course it's gonna yes, be it's good. It's just a okay. tradition. It's all in oh. good fun, Si. Yeah, hey, talking about fun. Who, who made the t-shirts? Well, Rebecca. Rebecca, actually. Well, well, hey, normally when I say the word hey, I spell it H-E-Y unless I'm driving down the road and I look out there in the field and I said, hey! Then I'm talking about a bale of hay. English is not Rebecca's first language. Well, hey, it ain't mine either. Hey. Hey. All right, guys, if everybody can take their seats, right. you guys come out the stage. Look, the gloves are off, buddy. There you go. Hey, the gloves are off. There you go. Oh, no, the gloves are off. Right. So I want to welcome everybody to the Uncle Si Retirement Roast. <laughs> yeah. You know, you have called us um, idiots, morons, dingleberries, maggots, even whiskey barrel. Oh, I wonder who that was. So be. now is our time to tell you what we think <laughs> of you as well. Let the roast begin. I'm not sure what I'm more relieved about, the fact that Si is finally retiring from Duck Commander, or the fact that this party may actually measure up to his insanely high standards. Lucky for us, we have the perfect thing to kick this party off and keep his ego in check. Willie Robertson. Unlucky for Cy, it's a roast and he's the target. Now this is gonna be fun. So Cy's retiring. I'm not gonna be able to get away from Cy though. Because every time I go to the dentist, there's a photo of his teeth up on the wall. It says, this is what happens when everything goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Roast. Cy si was a good student in school. He told me that the eighth grade was some of the finest three years of his life. <laughs> <laughs> he is at an age where he can no longer trust his farts. <laughs> <laughs> but the good news is, he went and had a colonoscopy and they found his head. <laughs> Cy is so old that I told him to act his age, and he died. <laughs> Christine told him the other day, you want to run upstairs and make love? And he said, hey, pick one, because I can't do both. <laughs> Yo, most of the time, if a guy's being roasted, 
He gets the rebuttal against the guy that's been roasted him. Most people know that Sai is an avid hunter. Most ducks do not. <laughs> These knuckleheads over here wouldn't even be able to take the heat that I bring on you. When God made Sai, he broke them all. Amen. <laughs> That's right. And God said, I'm never going to make another one like that. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be like Al, OK? You know, I congratulate on all the weight he's lost. Hey, right, look, and then congratulate Willie for finding it. He'd be in tears. Tea manufacturers have offered Sai endorsement deals to stop saying there's tea in his cups. Consumers are concerned it leads to hunchback, bad teeth, and chronic mispronunciation of words. <laughs> Burn! Like Willie, for example. He wants to be known as Boss Hog. That means Corey would be Miss Piggy. You know, she would be very upset to be called Miss Piggy. I'm gonna be the bigger man here. I'm not gonna say anything about any of that. She needs a chair. If I have to stand on my tiptoes this whole time, this have is Have you not thought right. about lowering the mic? No, I didn't know how to do that. I, I'm not technological. <laughs> technological. <laughs> yes, you are. OK. Some people say Sai's hairstyle is unique because more of it comes out of his nostrils <laughs> than his head. <laughs> Drop the mic. Drop it. <laughs> <laughs> and now to the good stuff about Sai. He's the closest thing to a brother I'll ever have. And he has been one of the best men I've ever known. I've never met a more decent man than Silas Robertson. Not one. Love this family, love everybody in it. I'm glad that we can laugh at ourselves and, uh, I think Sai helped teach us that. Sai has served our country, and he makes life fun. So I love you, Sai. He has been a rock that's been in our lives. I love him, and I always will, and his family. All right. Ooh. All right, Sai. Si. Appreciate it. Woo. All right, look, folks, now that we got the stupid roast business out of the way, we'll get to the entertainment part of this thing. So how long is it going to take? They'll be here any second. All right, just settle down, because I ain't no sing a cappella. We're all sitting in the sun. We're ready to be entertained. <laughs> they probably had to wait for the train. Are they taking a train, or are they taking a bus? They're coming in buses. <laughs> yeah! Oh, that's a big bus. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a bus. Wow. 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 Mm -hmm. Any time now. Look who we got here. Yeah! Y'all welcome ZZ Top, buddy! Are you kidding me? So I got ZZ Top to be his backup band. And here I thought he was going to show up with some random honky-tonkers. Not one of the greatest bands of all time. What's happening, my brother? How's it going? Hey, hey. going How's good, going, man. man. Hey. Yeah. Right. Even with Sai singing, this is going to be awesome. The only downside now is that we don't really need the 100 pairs of earplugs I brought. I'm not a professional. I got to get the lyrics. That ain't going to do you any good. Could I borrow them? I don't think you need them. <laughs> Oh, and that I'll probably be getting a very expensive bill. I'm going to have to postpone my retirement 10 years just to pay for all this. Play Freebird. Godwin wants to hear Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we wait for, to go out on stage. Play some Scanner. <laughs> <laughs> OK. OK. All right, here we go. One, two. Come on, Si. One, two, two three. three. Come running 
on key. Look, even a blind hog finds a naked every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> to be on stage with y'all and actually get to sing with you has been a blast. It was actually pretty good. Right. And y'all were great. Guys, oh, yeah. appreciate fantastic. it. Thank yeah. you again. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Fantastic. Yes, sir. I didn't you even did know y'all were coming. Yeah, man. Excellent. We're all yeah. right. Yeah. The guitar yeah. picking was good, and the singing wasn't not too bad. Yeah, well, yeah, you got at least your own key there. <laughs> yeah, you got hey, your beard actually matches. Well, they probably washed theirs. Okay. <laughs> I don't do nothing to mine. Jeez. You don't yeah. even wash it? No. This is El Naturel, son. Frank would probably have one, but his last name's Beard. So, yeah, your last name is Beard. He, he, he don't yeah, have he's a in there, beard. That's you know. Correct. Okay, well, he don't need one in. He's he, got the last name. What's your now, excuse? Frank and I, Frank and I think that some faces look too good to cover up. That's oh. why I grew my beard in the first place. I couldn't keep the women off, so <laughs> there you I go. got hey, the you, you got the same. Got the hey, you got the right same there. problem I got. Yeah, well, I, yeah, that's yeah, comforting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, look here. Hey, yeah. Well, sir, look. Don't bring out no stupid watch. Look at what it's we not got. A watch. You remember your favorite call? Yeah. The old cut down magnum? That's the old cut down magnum. Yeah, it's back. Look, we give each other a hard time a lot of the times, you know, well, all the time. But look, it really means a lot that Phil, Jace, and Willie went to this trouble to bring this duck call back. And then that's what you gave me is the first one that y'all made. So it's really special. The resurrected yeah, cut down magnum. I thought okay. it, I thought it'd give you incentive to stay alive. I really feel lucky that I was actually a part of this company for all these years. And for the record, hey, it's way better than any stupid gold watch you could have come up with. Y'all ready to eat? Let's, huh, eat. let's sure. go eat. Yeah, I am, but I know you are. <laughs> so the roast is over. No, the roast just begins, son. We fixing to eat. All right, let's bow. Father, we thank you for this good food. We're not taking it for granted how much you have blessed us. You offered it to us free of charge, and all you ask of us is to love you and to love our neighbor. In the name of Jesus, I pray, who made all these things possible, amen. 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 Right, boy, let's right. dig in. They say all good things must come to an end, but the truth is they never really come to an end because you always have the memories of what made them good in the first place. Sometimes those good things can even reinvent themselves and turn into other good things, like a classic duck call brought back into production, or Uncle Si launching a music career in his late 60s. Okay, maybe that's not a good thing for anyone's ears, but you get my point. This may be the end of an era, but it's also the beginning of a new chapter, one that will bless us with more good things, good people, and good memories. And for that, we are thankful. Actually, does this really have to come to an end? I mean, if I keep talking, they won't cut me off, right? And I can talk for a long time. So I guess we'll find out if they can cut me.
All right, boys, he's gone for good this time. That's a wrap, Jack.